It's the Bob and Tom Show. Frigamall Industries presents James Earl Jones with the inspirational reading, Candy Heart Wisdom. Yes, those little candy hearts with loving messages. No. Now, interpreted by James Earl Jones. <laughs> Be mine. <laughs> mm. Looking good. Messages your loved ones will cherish for years to come. Candy heart wisdom. Hot stuff. <laughs> You are hot. <laughs> the greatest words of all time are here. This charming one. audio collection will make a wonderful gift for... It burns when I pee. <laughs> Blow this out your keister. Excuse me, Mr. Jones. You seem to be veering off of the script. Uh, why don't you just read the candy heart messages made with the initials? Oh, for the illiterate hillbillies out there, <laughs> the letter U followed by the letter R followed by the word cute. <laughs> you are cute. Mm -hmm. Here's one they'll understand. Letter R, letter U. Are you a cop? So why wait? Order your copy of Candy Heart Wisdom today. Be my skanky whore. Eat and die. Now there's a Valentine's Day thought. What do you think of that? Good morning. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Ladies. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I am Chick McGee. And it's got all kinds of, let's see, I can see two cups from here for liquid that he's working on. Oh, sorry. He's, he's uh, top level busy right this second. Uh, soda hate, water, I coffee, hate, tea. I hate to bother you, but it's it's time for the show. Here's Tom. And denatured alcohol right there. <laughs> um, that's for cleaning things. Um, sure, that's what they say. I don't think you can drink that stuff. I think you can go blind. Oh, you can drink it. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess you can drink anything. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, Valentine's Day has arrived. I've already had someone uh, cursing about it. Uh, what? Uh, there are a lot of people in this building right now. Many have uh, not been, they're not prepared. Oh. Uh, well, how does that happen? It's it's like we've only been really, talking yeah. about it every day for a month. I know. Month. It's like it, it, doctors' it, kids getting sick. What's going on <laughs> I here? know. It, 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 hmm. uh, I was talking to a guy at the gym yesterday. He goes, oh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go get some flowers tomorrow morning. Uh, good luck. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are known for your procrastination. Uh, they'll be out there somewhere. Pat, what, are you set? You ready to go? I am not set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I was trying not to indicate I knew exactly who I, who who I might have been talking about. to. I was, <laughs> the string, of, for a the string of profanity <laughs> followed by the words Valentine's Day. Uh, uh, he's not the only one in the building. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, there's some last minute things. We hope you... Uh, everybody w sh should be okay. You know, just maybe a nice a nice <laughs> handwritten card, perhaps. Yeah, it's a nice uh, thought. Oh, that'll work. Oh, a, that'll work. Like crisp bill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's a $2 Thankfully, bill. They're very nice. A lot of florists are prepared for the late oh, of course, uh, yes. buying man. And, do you have any yeah. names? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I do. I, think uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the uh, the guys on the side of the road. What are they doing wrong? Huh? Fine flower. Fine flower. Yeah, as I said, you know, they, they may smell of cemetery vomit, but oh. they're, <laughs> flowers are flowers, right? <laughs> cemetery um, vomit. Uh, is that a thing? <laughs> I invented that. Yeah, I just think there's something special about someone puking in a cemetery. Oh, <laughs> just like for Lent, you're giving up spending exorbitant mon there amounts you of money. Go. And, uh, so. There you go, Ace Time. Now, this is a rare event. We've got Valentine's Day and Ash, Ash Wednesday. Wednesday today. Yep. Now, let me ask you this, Christy Lee. Do you have a little... Um, <sighs> is your is your man listening now, or is he sleeping? Uh, he should be listening right now as he was walking into the gym, but go ahead. Well, I don't want to spoil it here. Do I have something for him? Yes. Okay. Yes. How, how long have you had it, may I ask? Uh, since Monday. Okay. All right. 
just just checking. Yeah. I want to make sure that you got it covered. Do you think uh, men, as many women get something for their man as uh, vice versa? I think so, don't they? Do you? I don't know. I, Do you get something? Well, not yet. I mean, it's... You know, a friend well, of mine, okay. um, <clears throat> he found out that... Uh, yeah, this friend of mine, he found out that if the... Uh, gift for a birthday or or, uh, or valentine's day was not on the counter when she woke up that morning and if you're not i mean if uh, that sorry if that person is not home even if they're not home uh, they possibly could be at work that time of the day yeah they uh, there was hell to pay <laughs> yeah that's unfortunate yeah not yeah. thinking ahead is what i thought about says. that because i have his gift but i, I didn't put it out I no thought, well, it's wait. nice uh, no. to give it to him for right you, yeah. yeah yeah cheapens it you've lost Good job. Yeah, it's a bummer. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> to give it to them per face to face is yeah. nice. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I think you're okay. I'm okay. I haven't. Uh, I gotta wake wake her up and go. Hey. Right. Here's your get. No. Uh. -uh. No. I. Don't, I don't feel. I hate that it's an obligation. Do you you say it's an obligation? It's because I'm right. It is an obligation. I'm telling you guys. Made up there, holiday. If you get if you get the thing. Oh no, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do anything. Look out. <laughs> I'm are you speaking saying, from experience, are you? I mean, uh, no, this is uh, through multiple <laughs> counters. I'm just saying. Uh, that, that's all I'm saying. Okay, well, we'll uh, we have some interesting news about uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, once again, it's an early Easter. Mm -hmm. And this has something so to do. So happy Lent if you're Christian and you celebrate today, Ash Wednesday. Oh, you get ashes? Yeah. Don't at you get ashes? Noon. Mass yeah. is at noon. Now then, is this, a, is this also a day you're not supposed to eat anything? Yeah, it's a day of fasting. Does it include chocolate? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fasting. Tough. No, no, chocolate's not a food. You're there's, right. No, there should be, well, that's a rough one. There should, there, should some, there, should, there should be some kind of dispensation for chocolate. Chocolate booze, booze, booze and chocolate. Booze and chocolate. Booze and chocolate. Booze. I mean, after all, it is Saint it's Valentine's Day. Day, isn't it? True. Yeah. So if I have this a... This is like the world's colliding for, is rare. This. I have a 12-foot-tall St. Valentine made out of chocolate. <laughs> I could certainly eat that. Or a heart-shaped cheeseburger. That's right. So this is supposed to be no eating all day? Uh, there are rules, Tom. There you know what the word fasting rules. means, right? It's not, but it I mean, doesn't mean fasting for t 12 minutes. You know that, right? It stop at sunset. Is one of those? It's one of the, I don't know. I think after five, and if you're in a certain age group, you can eat a little bit. And Maybe yeah. we should modify the rules right now. Like to, I was going to make a heart-shaped meatloaf today and forgot about it. That's a wonderful idea. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah. Thank you, Pat. That sounds lovely. I <laughs> certainly over. can't eat meat on Ash Wednesday, so now I gotta have to wait till tomorrow. Do you make that on a tray, or do you have a heart-shaped bowl? How does that work? I have a heart-shaped pan. Oh, very nice. Really? So you can make cakes, heart-shaped. Yes, shaped exactly. And, yeah. Brownies. Isn't there some way you can make, make a heart out of two circles or something? You cut it. There is. Geometry, or it looks mm -hmm. like a heart. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, well, um, people that make cakes. And now, speaking of candy, <laughs> yesterday. You got a lot of secrets, I think. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I went uh, down the wormhole of watching a lot of the Super Bowl commercials. Yeah. And um, the, uh, the, the, the handful that we talked about um, uh, that people seemed to like, we also kind of liked them. The the BMW commercial. Well, we're, we're people. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but one of the ones that I hadn't seen that, that is really, I think, really funny did you see the one for uh, Reese's Cups? No. They've added the caramel. I, I, uh, I, well, wait a minute. I saw that, yeah. but I, 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 it didn't register. Caramel I have not and re peanut butter. I have not retained it. Yeah, it's really funny. They're, it's just another flavor. They're they're actually still going to have peanut butter. And they, they explain the whole thing. It's that I thought that one was very funny. Mm. And and I believe I believe uh, the Pope said you can eat those today. Did he? Either regular or caramel. You'd have to check. It was it was an encyclical in Latin. <laughs> uh, it was, was it an icicle? I forget how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really uh, up to speed on all this stuff. After um, Duncan, had, my favorite was the Christopher Walken. Walken's. Yeah, the Christopher Walken was for BMW, and that was yeah, the one where all of the the waiter and everyone was imitating him. Mm -hmm. That was very funny. Um, and uh, by the way, nice car, incidentally. Yeah. And then I did see there was a follow up. I don't think I printed it out. Remember the one for DoorDash where they said they were going to give the person everything that was on the... They were going to give them something from each commercial. Yeah, how'd that turn out? Who won that? They haven't announced the winner, but it's going to be more than $500,000 worth of stuff. I would All guess. Right. I, would, I would guess. A couple yeah. of cars and then $50,000 down on a house. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, there were... Uh, I think the... Uh, Lil Wayne uh, was uh, spokesman for a Homes.com or something like that, I think. Oh. And then... Yeah, I see that. 50000 may have been what I spent on DoorDash last year. 
<laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, <laughs> waiting for my tax man to look. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Start the <laughs> the commercial that was most universally panned. Um, you know, anyone want to guess? Mm. The ran. Allstate commercial with Arnold Schwarzenegger no, that, that was laugh free. That that was <laughs> usually in the top three. Good lord, surveys. this country of ours. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to Right in the crapper. I didn't see them, no. so no. Yeah, it, yeah, it was no. the one that ran five times. The same commercial. The Jesus? For, no, um, no, that was that. A, a couple of those ran. No, it was the Timu. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah. oh. The uh, Chinese. Be careful of Timu, my friends. And well, I'll t and then, it, but it also this uh, complicated article explained it may have been the most effective, <laughs> even though people hated it. They they were they were able to see how many people signed up for it. So. Uh, uh, interesting. Mm. Uh, it's, and also the number of people that remember the commercial but don't remember what they're for. That's always been my thing. That, that, can, be, that can also be a problem. Uh, in any event, uh, coming up in the news, we have a, a couple of Valentine's Day treats. And apparently it was either was or is International Pancake Day. I don't know. Holy cow. It was, I believe. I've heard a rumor it was this mm, week. Wasn't it Monday? I, I think don't it was know Monday. Monday. But I there don't are a couple of, today. There are a couple of accompanying uh, world records yeah. on, that, uh, on that topic. And uh, also, we have a uh, follow-up on the lady who had the OnlyFans um, massive sign on her car. Yeah. And her kids. Uh, it, it was a problem as she dropped her kids off. We have another idiot in the news who got a metal ring stuck on his... Down uh, there? On the, down there. Ooh. Ooh, man. Ooh. And if you look around the internet, there are photographs of this idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> Love hurts. In the, in the, yeah. in the OR uh, with the attending... Uh, fireman. Uh, now, uh, we uh, <laughs> want to remind you that uh, there's lots of gift giving, and sometimes it's nice to give a great gift to yourself. Say Raycon earbuds. The best gift you can buy is something for someone and then one for yourself. That's where Raycon earbuds come in. Raycons, you know, I've been telling you this, have the optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. They fit every ear ever made. And like any love story, your Raycons are here for a good time and a long time. Raycons have eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and you get amazing quality audio at around half the price of other premium audio brands. And don't forget awesome features like noise isolation and three customizable sound profiles. And, you know, we do, speaking of love, get love letters all the time about the Raycon earbuds, how people love them, and how people that uh, the, those people give them to, they love, the, everybody loves Raycons, the everyday earbuds. So, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 15% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping, just in time for Valentine's Day, and buy a gift for yourself. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom, 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Wasn't there a TV show, um, Everybody Loves Raycons? Uh, <laughs> I think there was. Is that one of your best impressions, Josh? Raycons. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Brad Garrett. Raycons. <laughs> People was... were upset he didn't really talk like that, you know. All uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Were well, they bummed out? Yeah. It was like, well, of course not. Who talks like that? It's just... In the category of, if you don't ever listen to me, listen to me on this one thing. If you ever... Get a chance to see Brad Garrett live in any comedy situation. Do it. It is. Uh, you will laugh until your stomach hurts. Uh, coming up, we got the, a we got a Super Bowl parade today, baby, on Valentine's Day. Oh, how okay. about that? Uh, and uh, and is Taylor going to be there? No, no. We don't know that for sure yet. Oh, oh Ace, of course, the authority. Good uh, God, that never gets tired. <laughs> <laughs> also, cornhole news. This is the Bob Hunt Tom Scholl. This is.
know his work um, with, well, uh, with us. Cool sticks and uh, he's going to be doing some solo stuff for us mm, cool mm, 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 we have a performance room right next to this room you can see through the glass there he is oh, yeah. can you can you hear greg <laughs> greg is greg found all the uh, drumsticks yeah, I, you, I need, uh, need yep. a couple more can you hear us? i'm back all right okay can you hear me okay all oh. right hold on okay Is, is there a? Is this? I date tons of chicks. Why day one? But she weighs tons. Come on. Uh -huh. Take your top off. <laughs> hey, Christy, what's in the news? He likes those symbols. That's oh. very nice. Is that, a, is that song called Take Your Top Off? <laughs> yeah, that's my new tune. It's a big hit. Uh -huh. I, I, okay, I like that. Let me much. test you guys. You guys know music, right? All right. Yeah, sure. All right, let me just, okay. What song is this? What song is this? Name that tune. Well, there's about 10,000 yeah, songs. Yeah, let's start that, that, that way. Be. Uh, that's the B-52s, Love Shack. I thought you guys knew music. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Love Anybody Shack. Walk Love. like an Egyptian. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was very nice. You, uh, can I do a request? So, certainly. Uh, can you do Mississippi Queen? Well, where's, where's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You need cowbell. Here Please. we go. Come on. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. You nailed it. Hey, wait, what about, what about a Honky Talk Women from the Stones? How's that go? No, no, you got to get the cowbell. cowbell. You gotta get, I thought you knew music. Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to spit it on me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's what's not this? it. What's it's this? Dunk, dunk. That's, That's Mississippi dunk. Queen again. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> How about this song right here? I don't That's know. That's a Pink Floyd tune right in the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I give up. W right, what was right. that one? I don't know. I was just laying down some funk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it down. Greg Hahn is our guest. Talk, never let them see fear. Don't work alone, just bait or bed. When you're done, just drop them by the river. <laughs> turtles and horse. Everybody. Turtles and horse. I've caught both while fishing. I've always loved them. Turtles and horse. 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 Turtles and Radio. My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More uh, ah, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety <laughs> first. Yesterday we were talking about hickeys. Yeah. I have a story oh, for you. you Which one of your daughters has one? Yes. No, nobody has hickeys, but we have death by hickey. Death by hickey? Mm -hmm. Were that me, I'm sure the officers would stand over my body and say, I have a feeling this is how he'd wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> More chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm so oh gigantic. Oh, my God. One Here's stick one of, of chalk things I've ever would done. never <laughs> be a We have to use a whole box all. of chalk to outline his... Look at uh, him. He had to take his headphones off, <laughs> lean back, and just, he's yeah. screaming with laughter. <laughs> he's, he's just an awful person. <laughs>
More chalk. <laughs> Lucky numbers. Man, if that weren't funny, I'd be so mad. Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter, and you're listening to Bob. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. Here's Tom yeah. with his thoughts on love. Tom? Uh, uh, well, just telling you, folks. Uh, <clears throat> good luck. Fellas out there. Mm-hmm. And ladies. Uh, we warned you. men. Okay. The old fight starter, right? We, we warned you. All right. Do guys get upset if their lady doesn't acknowledge Valentine's Day for them? No. No? Well, Pat, I think you're an exception. Uh, I don't, does it bother me? Really? I, I think, by and large, women have to really amp it up to disappoint a guy i think that's true. <laughs> so true yeah. Yeah. you'd have to take something yeah we're yeah. fine if you don't give us something you'd right. be upset if you took something away <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah and you always have you know like you walked plan. in and broke the tv that'd yeah. be a problem yeah, yeah. 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 But right. there's always plan b you know that women have yeah you know yeah oh i know exactly. I see what you're saying. Well, plan b. the b yeah i got it mm-hmm. fellas some people think <laughs> the it's success job, rate but... for for <laughs> us is a little lower on that <laughs> yeah hey look yeah, i yeah. forgot to get you anything but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, check right. this out yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> just give it up and i'll go work we're fine <laughs> we're even <laughs> it's all good okay when i taught uh english in korea yes i'm a very worldly yes, young man right. yeah, of course, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have two holidays they have valentine's day which is where the guy Guys get, uh, shower the women with gifts, and then there's another day, and I forget the name of it, but they, the women shower the men with gifts. Oh, that's a good yes. idea. Oh. That's yeah, pretty, and they're like a month apart. It's pretty nice. I mean, don't we have, isn't there some like sweetest day or something? Oh, yeah, there's always a holiday for Created something. by some hallmark or somebody. Maybe. Just have, enjoy yourselves. Have fun. It's uh, here's nice something. gifts. This is incredibly obscure. Pat, you may know this. Um, right. Because you're of Irish heritage, oh. and I don't have it in front of me, but uh, the essence of it is, this is a leap year, Correct. and which means the February 29th will be Leap Day, and there is an old Irish tradition that on uh, let me get this right on Leap Day, a woman can ask a man to marry him. I think there's and a he, movie based there, on yeah, that. Yeah, there is. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, a uh, little rom commy thing. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And but, and apparently if. The guy has to say yes, or there are various things that have to happen. Mm-hmm. Wow! And then it's been—it was like I guess co-opted by Al Cap with uh, what's that movie, where they're Jubilation Tea Corn Pone or whatever the hell it is. Remember that? And it's um, Sadie Hawkins Day, I think they oh. called it something like that. But yeah, I, I, on on so ladies, if you're paying attention here, you can get down on on one knee on Leap Day and ask your fellow to marry you. And yeah, if, and if he doesn't, I think I think her father can shave your balls. I've, um, and yeah, I forget. Do they still do that? What was it? What was it? Check. I forget. The Literally, no. No. Oh, 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 no. Anyway, yeah, just something fun out That's there. That's interesting. But again, the larger anybody will do that. Nothing um, binding about it. Just, I think there is. Uh, the larger point is, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get at his last nerve. How am I doing? Uh, the, the larger point is, it is Valentine's Day. It's a little Abner, Tom. Okay, is that what it was? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, what, wasn't that jubilation tea corn pound? I have no I idea what you're talking know. about. You could, you sound I know like Sadie Hawkins Day is yeah, a little yeah, I think they made a And movie. they tried to make a movie out of it, and it wasn't very good. Yeah, okay. We uh, had a Sadie Hawkins dance. I remember that yeah, in high Actually, school. I think yeah. the guy from yeah. Bye Bye Birdie was in Little Abner. I think he played Little Abner. Whoever played Birdie, whatever that guy's name was, which you see. Oh, what a career. Abner and Conrad. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Too much. Well, he's great as Conrad Birdie. Oh, well, Terrific. of course he was. <laughs> he's not yes. He, he must have peaked. How many Oscars did he else? win for that? <laughs> well, I mean, I think the song of the year was One Last Kiss. Is that oh, right? I kiss. could not give you any notes in One Last Kiss. Do we have One Last Kiss? Oh, do we have One Last Kiss? kiss. Uh, 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 Who sang uh, it? Give me one last kiss. You know it. Yeah. Did Bert, okay. Mm. Oh, it was kind of like an Elvis thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, exactly. So what's the uh, the Bye Bye Birdie is like when Elvis was sent into the army. Yeah. Right. And you know, and, yep. they, and they just made an um, an amazing movie right from that, huh? Oh, it's a classic. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's about a certain era of rock and roll. Yeah. Very accurate. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Very, very accurate. <laughs> and then the implication is when he comes up, and he, uh, my favorite thing is he asks for a church key. Remember that. There was a time I'd when I've that. never seen Bye Bye Birdie, oh, okay. and I have no plans to do so. You know what a church key is, Christy? Uh, the thing that opens 
beer cans? Yeah, remember there was a time when to open a can, you had to have that triangular thing that would fit oh, on yeah. the rim. And, uh, we used it for Hershey syrup. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, look, Ch uh, Chick has one. There, there you there, go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> it's a church key. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I think I'm, uh, my key. surprise is certainly warranted. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, just out of curiosity, why do you have one of those? Well, uh, uh, it's starting to turn around, by the way. Oh, but okay. in, in the past week, week and a half, there have been an, an un, inordinate amount of Diet Pepsi cans with you. You just pull the ring right off of them and it won't open the can. And it wasn't my amazing strength, which is legendary. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, now they're starting to open properly. But I had to get one of those, and I take my ice pick and make a hole, and then I open uh, the wow. tab with yeah, that. Smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah, crazy. I got, it all, uh, I got it all down. I'm surprised, that, I'm surprised you even found one of those. I had, to, uh, I had to buy it, but, yeah, I found it. What are they used for these days? Are there other things? Um, evaporated milk. Yeah. They haven't for some reason. They don't, these, they don't have the pull tab no, yet. No, but these won't milk. work on uh, Diet Pepsi uh, cans. There's no rim. Right? There's no uh, rim. No. Okay. Well, that in, in any event, yeah, he has a. So that was a thing you'd see the frat boys wearing a church key around their <laughs> neck. They would wear them around their neck. So yeah. you could open their bottles. Yeah, yeah. it was like a frat thing. Kind of like uh, later on, you'd see the, the the guys in L.A. with a Coke spoon. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Conrad Birdie. <laughs> Yep. Oh, man. This is not dated at all. Oh, one, one last, last kiss. kiss. Give, me Give me one last kiss. kiss. You never, never feel like this. I'll it all like, like this. this. Here's you the part know wait, wait, wait. I need your love. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Give me one last kiss. <laughs> nice uh, twangy guitar there. <laughs> it is twangy, yeah. <laughs> kind of a 50s thing, but it like, it's a promotion in the movie where... That's much worse than I ever Some thought. teen gets to give him one last kiss before he goes in the army. Right. So he, what, he wasn't really looking for a kiss. Oh, it, no, the, implication, last, the, uh, the implication is he's... You know, what is it, smash? Banging. Right? <laughs> Turns out the winner was Paul Lynn dressed as a teenage girl. I'll give you one last kiss. <laughs> and, Come and, here, big boy. And from what I understand, they both enjoyed it. <laughs> Jesse <laughs> Pearson, Tom. Yes, yeah. Jesse Pearson. Yeah, fine actor. <laughs> uh, tre yeah. Tremendous performance. I highly recommend it. And the beginning, the Anne Margaret's just as gorgeous as anyone. Yeah, can. she is. We had to watch that in high school for some reason, and I it was I don't know. Were why. you doing a, a thing about the greatest musicals ever made? No, I don't think uh, we were. Really? <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. That's nice. Um, where were we? Uh, I forget how we got on that. It was something to do with Valentine's Day. Uh, we have a Chick McGee at the bottom. I'd forgotten that desk. there were hoods uh, if and the, the greased back hair they would wear their bottle openers around their neck. I don't remember <laughs> that, that so at funny. all. Yeah. In the first church key, yeah, that's where I learned it. I don't know how that... Uh, well, I don't understand the connection between church and key and beer. That's what, well, that's it was just kind what of they a, called them. Um, disparaging way to uh okay in other words the, this guy's you, know, you you follow what i'm saying he's he's saying, they, this is my connection to god is op opening a beer um somewhat disrespectful i guess perhaps especially okay. on next wednesday It'd be funny if you uh, wore one while you're getting your ashes today Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> sure. Hey, Padre, want to open some evaporated milk? It says here, uh, it says on Wikipedia that ch the church key is not the triangular shape. It's more of the... The bottle opener The type. bottle opener type with the... Oh, uh, the okay. round oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, I always thought it was the other one. I thought it was, too. Um, maybe the... Uh, really well, now, here's another picture. It, it has a triangular, but a church key on the other end, it says. Yeah, okay, so there you go. Ah, the double whammy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Open, That's a, open, open a bottle or a can. Do you prefer it in the can, Christy? No. Oh, uh -uh, I, uh -uh. No, I mean... Even I mean, on I mean, Valentine's I mean, Day? Uh -uh. <laughs> no, no, we were talking about sex. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always drink my beer from a bottle. Thank you. Mm, oh, the classy. <laughs> will you ta if they offer you a glass, will you take the glass and pour if it in If it's in, in a glass? bottle, no. Okay, but if it's in a can? Yeah. 
It yeah. comes in a glass. How about wine it? in a can? <laughs> yes. Like a spritzer or something? No? Uh, a lot of a lot of those, uh, what is it, the White Claw? That's all yeah, in cans, right? Can. Right. Yeah. High Noon. Are all those well, cans? I found a new one, Kettle yeah. One. Hmm? Yes. Oh, that's uh, that's vodka? Yes. Cool. Well, what you it's got there? Cucumber and mint. It's a good one. Okay. Oh, so mm. it smells like you brushed your teeth after getting loaded? Yes, officer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've just been eating cucumbers right. and yes. Trust me, kids. <laughs> it's, it's, it's two mints in one. Oh, wait a minute. That's Kettle starts. One Botanicals. It's pretty good. Can I get out of this if I let you put it in the can? <laughs> <laughs> and by the can, I mean my <laughs> Gosh. Officer. You ever, heard, you ever flirted with a police officer? Christy? Flirted with a police officer? Yeah. Oh, you mean after while, they pulled me over? Yeah, wow, he's pulling you over. No. Christy and I got pulled over once. Remember that? Yes. Who was driving? I Christy. was. Really? Christy and I got pulled over and I was driving. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pat, you ever flirted with a police officer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had to. Yeah. I've been forced to. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of the story, Pat, when you got put into jail overnight, you weren't even the one driving. Nope. I was a passenger, yeah. How do you how do you do that exactly? We've all had that friend running his trap, yeah. yeah. mouthing off. Yeah. Did you use the term Barney at any point? I did actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> what an <laughs> idiot! I was in Carolina, so I thought that'd be funny. <laughs> Well, they're being really with... aggressive with my friends, so I decided to get out of the car and help. Oh, oh huh? that didn't work. Great idea. Yeah. Maybe sit there and shut up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well. I flirted with plenty of police officers. They just didn't hadn't pulled me over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In general, would you rather do a fireman or a police officer? I'm not particular. <laughs> that's, that's the correct Any answer. Man in uniform, you know, is it the fireman, police They're officer, both RBS? You, you both, you both, you know, it's Valentine's Day, and she's married. You <laughs> okay, know sorry, that, right? Oh, this was way back in the day. Uh, okay. Would you like Andy to dress up? No, I'm not into that really. No cosplay at all. Not for at you. all. No. Hmm. no. How about you, Pat? Have you and uh, no, I'm not into the uh, dress up uh, either. Michelle or whatever the hell. <laughs> whatever the hell. Oh, please don't the do flavor. that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The flavor of the week? What is it called? <laughs> oh God! Oh, hey, Pat, no. I apologize. Everything not you say today. is a lie. Do you guys like women to do that? I, I think some do. I, yeah, I, that's not, not me. But yeah, I'm I've never yeah. really. Can't beat, uh, can't beat naked. Can't beat naked. Can't. <laughs> or even just relaxed pajama bottoms oh, and a t-shirt. T-shirt. Backwards hat. Or oh, your yeah. dress shirt. Yeah, oh. nothing, spe nothing specific. Uh, blue overalls. <laughs> uh, it is hot. No, no shirt. That There's is good no too. way she has blue overalls. <clears throat> Who knows what hey, she's getting you know for what? Valentine's Day? <laughs> Please make that the gift. Oh, yeah. oh, funny that would that. be great because then I'd be looking for an apartment. Yeah, and then, uh, in the corner over there. <laughs> yeah, be, you'd come in here, I'd be sleeping in the I old studio. If, I don't know if Christy's trying to help here. She <laughs> oh, seems boy. like she's stirring it up. Uh, I might be. Uh, Kelly, how was your Valentine's Day? <laughs> well, did you see what Jethro got me? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an interesting uh, <laughs> study. Uh, epic failures in Valentine's Day. Games, oh. Where someone goes way out of the way, doing something very creative, and it completely backfires. Have we ever done bad Valentine's gifts? It doesn't sound like we have. Oh, we should. Sounds like we are. <laughs> and, and I, we talked to Sadie Allison from Tickle Kitty, and she has all the uh, sexy toys yes. that are out there. And that's kind of a bold move. But your theory on that is that ladies give them to the guy. Is that right? The one, That one particular thing. There's one. Yeah, there was one particular I mean, that, do, I do you think it depends on what kind of relationship you think you it's have. very forward if a, if a man is, gives a woman some kind of electronic... Not, it you better know her. Yeah. I mean, that's... You better that, know her is right. Yeah. Well, that's where it gets... How, how how long do you date before you get him Valentine's Day gifts, you know? Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, right yeah. off the bat, really. Right? You yeah. think so? No, 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 no. Right away? Well, you say, I love you on the first date. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Right. Not Pat. only do yeah. I love you, but my son loves yeah, you. Yeah, Pat yeah. has the adoption papers <laughs> right. already. I think, I think it's nice if you've been dating a few months to do something light. I, like... I have a suggestion. What? If, if you if you took our advice, perhaps. And I love you... suggestions with Tom Griswold. And um, let's just say you, you got some kind of um, uh, vibrating electronic device mm -hmm. for your lady friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to make it that much more special... <laughs> Wrap it with a 20-foot heavy-duty extension cord. <laughs> so she, when at first first glance, she thinks, dear God, to charge this thing, i got to have a 220 line? That'll get a nice chuckle. That'll get a nice chuckle. No. Because most of them these days, they power, they get their power from a... Their USB. USB. You just USB. charge them. Um, Battery technology, Tom. The womanizer, you can't go wrong. She may look at you weird at first, but she'll be very That's happy That's the name with of the later. product, the womanizer. Mm -hmm. And it's a vibrating... 
Uh, no, it's air suction yeah. kind of thing. Pleasure button uh, yeah. focused. Yeah. Is there like a warning on that? What do you mean? You put this on high, you might lose it. <laughs> Terrible. No. Lady. Get, get a Q-tip. I think it's in there. <laughs> oh, geez. Boy, the things you know about sex are just... Just siphon it out with your lips. Yeah, what are you doing? I, know, right? I don't know. What, what are you doing? Yeah, you know, that? that's exactly right. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. And I, your it, wild speculation, it beats everything. And you have more children than all of us put together, yeah, which I is amazing. There could I be, don't get it. There could be some kind of disclaimer on the front. I mean, like, you ever look at a ladder and all those things they have on the side of it? <laughs> Do they have those on those sex toys? Not that I know of. When you buy them, they open them up right there if you buy them in person and put the batteries in and, t and give it to you like that because they won't take returns, so they have to prove to you that it works. Well, no kidding. Yeah. But they don't have batteries anymore, right? Most of them are all, like right. you said, USB. Yeah, true. So I don't know what they do now. Well, the last I time I bought one, well, kick in, it on, I would imagine. Like in a store, it was by batteries, yeah. I think they come already with a little bit of a charge to them, so they immediately turn on oh, okay. and they suggest that you charge and Pat, them And Pat, the first one you bought, the steam powered, right? Yeah, yeah. back in the day. <laughs> Big of course, that's how old I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing to power the Model T. Because it's... Uh, oh, yeah, the old John Henry. <laughs> because it's Ice Wednesday, do you think they have a accommodation vibrator cross? Oh, oh, I sure hope not. You know, Jack. Uh, just saying that may lightning may strike. Wow. Why, why? Why not? They, right? What do you mean? Why not? They, they probably I'll, I'll, do. I'll tell you. Of course they do. If not a, a crucifix. That's a very specific. Uh, a little, little bit of a and the Exorcist, right? Yeah, there. that was. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Exactly. One of the scenes, yeah. All right, now coming up, by the way, we have a world records in the news. A couple good ones, and uh, we still haven't found out if International Pancake Day was today, yesterday, or the day before. And we got a Super Bowl parade coming up in Kansas City. Mm. And um, one of my favorite things that Chick ever says will be coming up in the news, and he doesn't know it. That's right. I, I, I hardly can, know. I know less and less every day. So. I, can, I can write it down, yeah. and I guarantee it will happen. Okay. Uh, somewhat reluctantly, but he will spout it. Uh, <laughs> So it'll be okay. irresistible. You know what I'm talking about, Christy? No, I'm... The second word is spa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, I know exactly okay. what you're talking about. Okay, all right. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I know. About. You you to say it. It's going to be a big thrill. Uh, by the way, I um, have an interesting note here uh, from a listener. Um, loving the shows of late, Josh's storytelling is now approaching uh, Chick's Famous dog story. Um, <laughs> that's not good, Josh, by the way. I see, I see, I think your dog story was just fine. I thought maybe, it was fine. Yeah, maybe I that's like my problem. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah. No, the famous dog story was? Uh, I found a dog, and I looked at his collar, and I called the owner, and he came and picked it up. You that's took, <laughs> that's took more abuse than you should have. It, it was Certainly. on topic. Yeah. It, yeah. And by the God, when I remembered, I think Bob was at the bottom of the abuse. Uh, he, he started, started the abuse, yeah. by oh, gosh. Yeah. 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 But yesterday, you, you told a story, and you couldn't remember halfway through the story why you were telling it or what happened. Exactly, yeah. Oh, it was... It was well, you were... I think you were very excited about the memory of what happened. Yeah. But then when the, you started to retell it, you realized... The end. This was from an uncle's perspective. <laughs> right. and, and it really it wasn't that big a deal. Yeah. Why am I talking. Oh, I did yeah. remember the exact details, if you're interested in Oh, when we come ever. back, yeah, okay, show okay. If! Uh, <laughs> well, perhaps later. And then we have another another writer writes in, hey, I've got an idea for a new feature on your show. <laughs> Josh Arnold confuses America. <laughs> <laughs> it should happen every day. Uh, uh, thank you, thank yeah, you yeah, very much. I have no business being on the radio. For paying that much attention. <laughs> no, it's pleasure. not you. Uh, coming up in the sporting world, anything interesting besides uh, the parade? We got the, we, got, uh, we got the parade for the Chiefs. Shaquille O'Neal had his number retired. ESPN College Football sign a big contract and cornhole just in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom... Should okay, I here comes I Marilyn, so everybody. So here's my girlfriend. Um, this is uh, your mistress, uh, Jack. You shut your mouth. We, we, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's yes. good. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope yeah, you have the VIP good. camera. Oh, Very strong. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, my. Look at those oh. legs. 
I don't Pat, think that I don't think Marilyn Marilyn didn't have that kind of muscle tone. Pat <laughs> <laughs> McAfee's NFL kicker why leg. Yeah. Did. How uh, do your arms look good? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Your lipstick is amazing. <laughs> I almost can't handle it. I can't either. Can you sit in that? Pat? Your husband can. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Again, I know this is totally visual. This is terrible radio, but it's fabulous. We will be getting lots of pictures of this out there. Up. I need a picture with my lady. Pat's Pat's having problems with his brazier. My uh, apparently. I, um, I got huge jugs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I just found out. Uh, He's got oh his goodness. phone. He's Yo, got his phone his stuffed cleavage. down and cleavage. Okay, he yeah. can't be without it for Twitter. We're going to take some shots right now. The ladies are posing. Oh, um, uh, once again, uh, from me, <laughs> Pat's face is hilarious. Uh, He's got the little uh, beauty spot going as well. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, bud. Once again, <laughs> once again. Now, Christy, I know that you were upset. Let, now, look at this. I want, I want approval here. You can see I have 10 envelopes. Right. You can see here. Now, Christy, give me a number between 1 and 10. 10 is my lucky number. 10 is your lucky number, okay? No. Yeah, as right. you recall, last year, yeah. Christy was dressed up as Teddy Roosevelt with the... Uh, the Probably the best the, Teddy Roosevelt in history. The hunting hat, the mustache, and uh, whatever that hat is called. Uh, and, and you had the kind of... Uh, a hunting shirt on, sure. like a newscaster, right. like I world, and you were not happy. This is the tenth one, as you can see. We had, we had ten options for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Now we have ten presidents here. Mm -hmm. Now you have opened just open one of them. Thank uh -huh. you very much, and see which which of the ten you're going to be today, ladies and gentlemen. Christy Lee, open up the number. Which totally, president? Totally, totally, totally random. Totally, totally random. random. You heard me pick ten. Cause okay. It's my lucky okay. Number. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Who is it? Oh, it's Teddy Roosevelt. What <laughs> are <laughs> the chances? Yes. Now, this time it's well, it's, that's weird. It's, it's Teddy in a, in a suit, though. So it's a different look. I have to wear a suit. We're not going to put you in the same costume. Uh, we, we, uh, I'm wearing heels. Uh, I'm right. wearing heels. Can I ask a question? And I have a wig yeah. that's how many, my head. How many envelopes did you have? <laughs> Ten. Ten. And in each. Can I see? Let's say I, you got number seven. <laughs> abort no, mission. No, abort no, mission. No, no. Can no. we all get number seven? <laughs> yeah, let's try number one. <laughs> this is the kind of distrust <laughs> is why we I'm left just, the English. I'm just kidding, George. The same picture was in all ten envelopes. That's what I think, yeah. That's what I think, How dare you people? I don't know whether I'm insulted that that's what you did, or you think that we, we wouldn't catch enough. on? I don't know. What did he say? He says we're I, ignorant. I think, yeah. I, think I'm, I think I'm more upset at the last Although part. Although I do uh, have to admit, if I'm doing this picture, am I doing this exact photograph? Yeah. Because I really like the tails. And we had to get 10 different Very costumes, nice. and you picked that. You'll, you'll be in tails <laughs> as Teddy Roosevelt. It won't be the oh, hunting nice Teddy Roosevelt. Chain. Once again, uh, we're getting all these photographs out on uh, oh, our website. These boots. heels are horrible. Are they? Mm. Let me see them. You guys wear heels all the time. I don't know how you do it. See, not too many TV shows. <laughs> are you close, really wearing close heels? your legs. Would there's there's only what feet. size? Are those Maryland. size 12 you, heels? 14. 14. 14 ladies? 14s. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we, you're damn right it is. Yeah, baby. We had a guy on the show, uh, a real nice gentleman a couple years ago that's a cross-dresser. Wasn't he wearing like a size 14? Those are 14s. Yeah, and there's, there's a, there's a uh, I guess, a place online where if you uh, want to cross-dress, you can Those get... Those are my boobs. You know me in shoes. Size. And there, touching my boobs. There's definitely a shoe store that I know of. Well, we all With know your little that, pancake. That they do uh, uh, more than half their yeah, business. Yeah, Jackie, yours are a little... Uh, larger lost size their women's shape. shoes. I have to be Teddy Roosevelt again? Yep. That's, it's so, just you setting picked in, the number. It? You picked the number. We go ahead, Christy. Go, on, get, get, go get started. Why couldn't we do this normal? Like, I could have been Jackie O, you know? I like been, and, That's how this started. I would have even been happy to be Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Opposed to Teddy That's Roosevelt. how this started. We were, we were sitting around, and I said, well, we could have Nicole do Jackie Kennedy because she has such nice hair. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened. Then I decided, wait a minute, it'd be a lot funnier. Because you've got such a beautiful smile. You've got that Kennedy, the Kennedy teeth. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. They're magic, man. He's one of the best. If he get his feet set, 
Hey, look out. He, and, and then, also, he's having a good game. He had a good first game. And now... <laughs> Contradictory thoughts in the same sentence? <laughs> like magic. Having stumbled because his leg gave out on him, in a sense. And uh, so it's not 100% that leg, but uh, he's doing, you know, he's playing really well. He, he's not like he's favoring it at all. <laughs> magic. <laughs> the angler. Dan Marley is continually continually to help off of Byron Scott. To get Magic Johnson sports casting my way, call 1-800- Get it out of here! <laughs> Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Well, you know, I used to have a good gig. I was working cruise ships, but I got fired. I was working, uh, I'm not even supposed to mention the I won't mention the name. Let's just okay. say it, it rhymes with Royal Amphibian. <laughs> 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 All right. Here's, here's what happens. Okay. They, they hire me. Uh, they say it's a comedy emergency. I'm like, comedy emergency? Yeah. They fly me around a place called Casa Maya, Mexico. I get there. The ship has a 70-foot by 6-foot hole in the side of the ship. Oh, my. And the cruise director comes out. Hey, we're glad you came down here. We're flying in entertainers, entertaining people while we weld the hole shut. Listen, Jim, do me a favor. Don't mention the hole in the side of the boat. <laughs> How big's the hole again? Okay, he, 70 by 6. And, and this is where I get fired, okay? okay? Yeah. Because I open the show, I'm like, welcome to Casa Maya. It's a Mexican phrase that means, look out for the dock. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of here. Yeah, let's hear from your captain, Captain Morgan. <laughs> oh, and that's, uh, that's how you get the gig in the Midwest in yeah, the winter. Wow. That's how you do it. That's so that's what man. happened. They hit the dock. Yeah, they drove into the dock oh, and ripped a seventy foot by six foot hole in it. Oh uh, and I'm on stage going, and if you want to talk to your captain, he'll be handling your luggage when we get back to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eight hundred thousand yeah. dollars worth of damage. You know? yeah. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you. Oh no, you're talking out your ass again. Bob and bunch of them. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Valentine's Day, 2024. Love is in the air. And Ash Wednesday. Yep. Um, a meeting of uh, two interesting things. We've got a bunch of interesting dates coming up because we've got the eclipse coming up. It's going to be uh, in, in a whole bunch of spots in the United States, a total eclipse, which is really rare. And then uh, we've got Leap Day on the way. On uh, uh, February 29th edition. I want time and a half for that day. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and once again, um, an unusual tradition of Leap Day, ladies, Yeah. is then the Irish tradition on Leap Day, you can ask a man to marry you. You got I believe it's Pat, isn't it? You have to get down on one knee, ladies, and then... I'm not quite sure. And uh, the man has to marry you. And so, so. Well, I... Where did you hear this? Oh, it's, it's an it's, ancient tradition. He, he's not wrong. There was a movie about it. Yeah, was it Amy yeah. Adams or some, maybe yeah. somebody like that? It might have been even called Leap Year. Actually. It is. Yeah, I didn't know that. I just w was doing some reading about Leap Year because uh, this is a Leap Year. It's very exciting. Do you know anybody with the birthday on the 29th? Uh, close to, but no. Okay, so that... that we well, know that, somebody that has an anniversary on the I'm 29th. seven. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Married yeah. four years. That's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I found you so attractive. <laughs> Can you, what, that's the rule. Can you choose uh, the 28th or March 1st? I don't know. What does it say in your license? I don't know. I would think you'd have to have... If you were born on the 29th, you would have to pick March 1st because that's what it would become, right? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I would yes. bring forward. That does I, make I sense. Round up. I would... Uh, I don't know if there's any stats on this. I would imagine that there are um, women and, and couples that have asked to be induced on the 28th so they don't... Yeah, maybe. They don't... Right. I think they're, they're something of a stigma to being born on the 29th. A psychological mm. thing. I don't know about that. There may be. You think? Yeah. I think. Well, I know what his problem is. He was born on February 29th. He's, I don't think so. There's a perception so. that you get you don't get your birthday every year. Is the leap year, is it totally necessary yes. that we're still doing this? Yeah. I, can't we figure it out some other way? If it's we a, didn't have leap year, the Earth would slip <laughs> off its axis and fly out into the universe. Well, if we didn't have leap year, eventually, at Christmas time, it would be July, uh, technically. No kidding. Would, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, yeah, obviously over a long, long period of time, but that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Somebody think, explained it to me, like, what what date it would be right now if we never had leap year, and it, it blew my mind. But our I, seasons would be affected. I really yeah. didn't understand. Wow. It. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Eventually, it would be snowing in what would have been July. Because yeah. it's a it's an extra day, right? So it would be... Right. 
ago, not in the future, if we didn't have a leap year. Wow. But uh, we got one. Very All right. Okay. <laughs> and leap day coming up. And uh, ladies, once again, I'm just telling you. Uh, and uh, today, of course, is Ash Wednesday. Christy, you'll be getting your ashes. Now, may I ask a technical question? You um, uh, have lovely bangs. In fact, I'm, I just noticed them the other day and yeah. mentioned how nice they were. I like it when they get down and flirt with your glasses. Boy, there are people who don't. I, I don't about care for that. them. Yeah. I don't care for them. Cut your bangs. Sweep no. them to the side. I'm telling you. You'd great. get divorced and remarried in a week. You sweep your, <laughs> sweep your bangs to the side. Uh, they, they look great. My sister has bangs. With them. Real they, they look fantastic. You know, Real stupid. You have to can't move your see bangs your, over. Can't see the top of your glasses. What are you doing? So, I get to get to my, my question. My hairdresser's been out of work. To my get to 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 get to my question, the um, ashes for Ash Wednesday are obviously placed on your forehead. Mm -hmm. So, do you go up and uh, do you take your do you like? Hold your hair back? No, I just go like this before I go up there, and he just goes around it. You can go around it. Then you get him on the side. On the side of what? By the hair? Forehead. Do you want? Don't you want him in the middle? No, he just. He'll goes get the. Under. He'll get the. Yeah, he'll get it. And he'll go your, under my bangs. When he gives you the ashes, does he kiss you on the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem today? I think. <laughs> I think he's going to be <laughs> lightning. Is going to start. You've got what my. Crucifixes. That's what well, I tried Catholicism for like a week, and that's what my priest told me. That's all I oh. know. Yeah, yet an unfortunate uh, experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Father John's listening. I apologize. I got a really nice so, note from him this morning. So they, so they, they move. Huh? You're, you're responsible That's for moving weird. your back. Because I was wondering if you had to hold him back. No, you don't. Like every He'll '80s, do like every He'll '80s do comedian it. doing a Jack Nicholson impression. <laughs> Remember that? So sure. Every '80s sure. comic Pat, they'd hold it back. Well, what would it be like Church if Jack really were at the license bureau? bureau? It's really not the place for comedy. I, oh, that, yeah, it's a solemn. Yeah, but God and Jesus never laugh. Oh, right? No, they laugh, but, remember, but not during mass. That's a joyful thing, right? Isn't Ash Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. Haven't you ever heard the first five minutes of the Sermon on the Mount? Hilarious. <laughs> well, you got to break <laughs> anybody. Nice. Anybody here from out of town? Yeah, it's open with a joke. <laughs> uh, it's Mount. Mount? I thought it was Mount. Mount. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a horse. <laughs> yeah. Sermon on the Mount. Horse Did I say that? I'm sorry. Do you remember the, one of? The, I think it might be the first joke in Monty Python's Life of Brian. They're at the Sermon on the Mount, and it pans. And they're in the very back, and he goes, "Speak up!" They <laughs> uh, couldn't yeah. hear him. They, they can't hear him. Yeah, that's always that's always the thing about you see those gladiator movies. You're wondering how the hell do these people? They, they, yes. have, a, they have a PA, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Uh, that's why they had the thumbs up because it was all visual. Yeah. Guys in the back row going, what the hell's going on? <laughs> is that a lion going to eat that poor? <laughs> Boy, that's a great The gladiator, the, the beginning of that movie, mm. with, the, with the, the puppy dogs there, and they, they start to attack. It's amazing. Yeah. How much better is that movie than Bye Bye Birdie? <laughs> how, how, better. how much better is Gladiator than <laughs> Bye Bye Birdie? Well, I haven't no, seen I, either of A hundred so. times? Yeah. No, no. The Bye Bye Birdie brings joy to one's soul. Whereas to who? Gladiator is what the world wasn't like. They're you know, I've been speaking English. I've been counting, I've been kind of down. Lately, I, I don't know what's going to cheer me up. I... Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Twanging guitars. Hold it! Is, is that a no? We need telecaster. A cheesy vocal. Oh, one last kiss. Give me one last kiss. Could never feel like this. No, baby, and I like this. Girls, ready? Hurts when I ladies, come on. Come <laughs> Thank you. Give me one last kiss. Oh, Good God. Sure. Now grab my... Now, now did you... Uh, <laughs> Conrad, Conrad. Uh, off the air, Christie's was doing some homework about the guy that played Conrad Birdie in the yeah, film, Bye Bye yeah. Birdie. He didn't have... He didn't, Jesse Pearson. He had a tough life. And he ended up becoming a writer. Yeah. He wrote... For a couple of adult films, apparently. Wrote Pro Ball film. Cheerleader was one You of make them. a deal with the devil to have something like that be popular, and you're gonna... Yeah. You you're gonna pay. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. it a little bit. I'm yeah. sorry, Christy, What was the name of the porno? Pro ball cheerleader. Pro ball cheerleader. Mm -hmm. hmm. Does Josh? I'm not really familiar with the world of pornography. I don't have the. Uh, well, I'm very versed. Back on you. Yeah. Um, do they have a script? Some do now. Yeah, some. Sure. Well, this was yeah. early. This was '79. Yeah, yeah. Back then, most of them did it. But uh, yeah. yeah. Remember the deep throat thing? So it, yeah, they did script. have a story, I guess. Oh, okay, man. The. The elevator pitch for Deep Throat is actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, her main pleasure center is in her throat, and so that's the only way she can. <laughs> that you know right? what? That's Let's it, make. Yeah. yeah, that's the story. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> the guy. Is that right? But do they have? And every set? man's going. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> right, right. And is there? Is there, but I mean, is there someone on set with a clipboard? 
Uh, okay, for continuity, no, no, in that scene, the cigarette's over on that table. I think they kind of were. I mean, Boogie Nights, I, I think, nailed those old porn sets. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, now, um, uh, coming up in sports. Hi. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, we've got, oh, I was yawning. I'm sorry. We've got a uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, victory parade today, mm. and they're doing this thing now. Uh, yeah, the parade route is uh, just like it was last year. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. How's that taste? Mm -hmm. Every other team in the league. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's a rumor that Taylor might be there, but it's going to take some doing. And uh, we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. Um, but uh, they're not dating, according to Ace. Okay. Also, in the news, in, in legitimate sports news, cornhole. <laughs> it's it's not legitimate it's sports It's huge. News. It's something uh, that he came up with. No, it's absolutely it's huge. Well, yeah. it's, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It involves uh, the future of America. Oh, oh really? goodness oh, yeah. gracious. Well, yeah. we've got to listen to this. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Etta May in the studio with us. Uh, Etta May is um, uh, the mother of several. What, what is the official count? Uh, uh, four. Okay, great. Not counting wow. my husband. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're done, right? Uh, my, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my oldest boy, Bud, is 17, and Bud. then Corona, she is 16, huh. and Miller is 13, and then Jack is 8. There's, there's a theme there. <laughs> well, Jack. no, trust me, after the third one, I had graduated to hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, Understood. It helps. Uh, yeah, and, was, and Jack is a, just a dream. Is he? My little eight-year-old. Yeah. He started kindergarten this year, so we're very oh, He's eight? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Chick, take you back. Yes, you? it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That kid's Woo! huge. Nothing Shut like being 20 during your senior year in high school. <laughs> You're popular. Yeah. You can drive and... Drinking. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Drive yeah. your buddies yeah. around. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're very proud of him, and... Um, my 17-year-old is, uh, uh, problems are arising, mm. and I, I, I'm, I'm seeing flags. Mm. Let's put it down. The other day, he walked in the house. Uh, he had pierced his bottom lip. Ooh. Jeez. Um, and, uh, that, uh, and tried to hide it from me. Mm. It's like, you know what? Be a man. Own it. Mm -hmm. Don't hide it. And it's, you know, it's like, hello, you got a spike sticking out your bottom lip. <laughs> Man up. I'm like, yeah, I might notice that at breakfast when Cheerios keep getting hung up on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my son for his graduating class now looks like a ring toss game. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he tries to hide it. And it's like, hey, mom, I'm going to I'm going to go to my room. Okay. And it's like, come here. What's the matter with you? Why are you talking? Mm. Come here. And I, and I said, put your hand down. And he, and it's like, oh, honey, what did you do? And I said, did that hurt going in? Did it hurt coming out? Oh. Oh. Hey, any holes be put in my kid's head, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the kid he runs with. That's yeah. his the bad influence. This kid has so many piercings, he looks like he was attacked by a nail gun. Okay? <laughs> Somebody from Home Depot did a drive-by on him. <laughs> I mean, I call him Tackle Box. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds attractive. Oh, yeah. Gunner, you can take him fishing. 
Uh, really? He, he, he's got a couple fish hooks right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. About 13 lures in his ear. A couple sinkers <laughs> coming out of his nose. It's convenient, yeah. The kid can't even walk past my refrigerator without all the magnets going. <laughs> 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 Five T E zero one. After years of research and investigation, we have uncovered the following audio cylinder. <laughs> this is the very first ever recording by Mr. Thomas oh, Edison. Okay. Hey, uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. Here we go. <clears throat> <What's up? laughs> this has been a Bob and Tom Audio Institute exclusive. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I got thrown out of J.C. Penney the other day. <laughs> really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. <laughs> That's how you know you're too high. Nice. So comedian Alan Havey joins us. What else is on your mind? What are you talking about these days? Oh, uh, you know, uh, my girlfriend wants to have kids now, and I, I don't want kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just kids are spoiled today. I don't know what happened. I guess children had a major coup about 12 years ago, spoiled little <laughs> bastards. Um, you know, when a kid's bad, what do they tell them now? No, time, time out. out. Time out. What mm -hmm. the hell is that? Time out. Yeah, I had time out when I was a kid. I'd wake up and go, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Boy. Yeah, you know, small. Sure. Thug downtown. You mm -hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> coming home for dinner? <laughs> Bob and Tom. It's nice time. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. She's out of town, isn't she? <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Not yet. The I hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. Hey, Chick. Pat Godwin. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. With uh, letters? You got letters? I, I, they're confusing. Okay. I think we're confusing people. About oh, no. What? Well, uh, because we've got a lot of things going on at the same time here. We've got your uh, Ash Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, today's also Valentine's Day. Yes. I mentioned uh, Leap Leap Year Day, Leap Day, February 29th. Yes. In which, uh, once again, uh, the Irish tradition is a woman can ask a man to marry her. Mm -hmm. And he has to. Um, and then uh, I got this nice, uh, nice note here. Dear Bob and Tom Show, you've been talking about Leap Day. Christy, if you were born on February 29th, would that mean you've only been married once? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Kind of a, all right. Maybe. That's an interesting, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. interesting maybe. idea. I, there you go. I'm not sure. We were talking about the... And I'm kind of wondering, maybe someone has knowledge of this. If a woman was due with a baby on the 29th, uh, when it's a leap year, if they would actually get induced so that the child was not born. I would. Oh, you would? I think a lot of people... Yeah. Yeah. I know more and more women are choosing a day to be induced. Right. Rather than... Wait for nature. Yeah, waiting for nature. Uh, but uh, I'd just be kind of curious because I think some people think that being born on the 29th is not a good thing. Of the devil. Yeah. 
Uh, and then we were also talking about... <laughs> that's uh, not of the devil, of course. <laughs> no, no, one, no, no one stood up and said, no, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you... I know, I... I, I it like, was very... I, we left you in the Lord's Yeah, he's left me hanging. It's, it's Sorry, no buddy. fun when we don't correct. <laughs> sorry. Fix the Satan worshiper. Did you hear him? <laughs> yeah. sorry, I, was, I was reading this. I'm sorry, I got ahead of what? myself. Um, we were, uh, a chick brought up church keys. Yep. And uh, the church key, of course, is the uh, the traditional can opener. And apparently it can be either the bottle bottle cap opener or the triangular-shaped uh, puncture. Or both, because they have yes. one that's got both and, on it. And uh, someone found a picture of Paul Newman wearing one around his neck. And From of course, Cool Hand Luke? Yeah, and there's uh, the famous oh, uh, Bye Bye Birdie church key. Um, <laughs> good morning, writes Bill. Uh, talking about church keys, I have a can opener on my key ring. It's called a P38. Issued to me by the United States Army in 1970, we used it to open our sea rations. Ah. I've used it many times over the years. My wife keeps buying these fancy can openers, but I can never figure out how to use, so I pull out my P-38 and open up the can easily. There you go. And he says, look it up. All right. I'll Thank look you, it Bill. Up. Very Bill. trustworthy. The P-38. Whatever. Thanks for your service, sir. By the way, United States Army. Oof. Um, Tom, I have a, a Valentine addressed to Chick. Chick, may I share this with you? I wish you would. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope everyone has a great day and a lot of fun. What I would love to see for my Valentine would be Chick in a pair of overalls with no shirt. Is this Frank? <laughs> now that would get my heart racing. Have a great day. Frank in Alabama. That's Frank in Alabama. <laughs> He's always good for a, a nice pick-me-up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, sweet, sweet man. He loves his chick. If I was, uh, yeah, I would... Uh, Mm -hmm. Set up housekeeping in Alabama in a heartbeat. Do we know what Frank looks like? I I, I don't. Why would that even matter? Josh? Well, at this point, it, you're that. already <laughs> in. You're yeah, already, yeah, yeah, invested, sure. yeah. But, That's right. I mean, what if he's just the hottest? Why not? Right? <laughs> then how do you decide who puts what where? Ah, that gets figured well, out later. Mean, yeah, yeah. Is there a code of some sort? Oh, well, this, uh, this didn't take long. No. <laughs> we we're having fun and laughing. <laughs> and these are simple questions. I, you know, Frank, do whatever you want. It's okay with me. Um, <laughs> I can tell. Clearly. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Clearly it's okay with me. Um, uh, uh, now, uh, coming up, we have... Uh, more interesting stories uh, uh, from the uh, world of love. But right now, I think it's time to take a short break into the world of uh, sports. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, beating the 49ers on Sunday in Las Vegas. And that means uh, the victory parade starts at 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern time. Today. Chiefs are on the parade route. That's right. No in teams, no. Kansas City. Um, rumors are that Taylor Swift might attend. Oh, boy. That will be uh, a little dodgy, though. Uh, she does have a concert here in a couple of days. I'll explain in a minute. Uh, of course, uh, the parade will follow a similar route to years past, heading south on Grand Boulevard through downtown Kansas City before arriving at Union Station. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And Taylor doesn't have any concerts today. However, she does have a concert in Melbourne on February 16th. Oh, that's tough. That for, could interfere oh. with her plans. <laughs> now, keep up. The flight time between Kansas City and Australia is 19 hours. Mm. And, oh, by the way, Australia is 17 hours ahead of Kansas yeah. City. So she'd be cutting it kind of close to get to Melbourne. But Taylor, don't bust your ass. Just go to Australia. There is a possibility that she will show up at, All right. at the parade. Oh, wow. So okay. There you go. And uh, this is starting again, and it won't it won't be a thing until it's not a thing. Uh, San Francisco 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan is hearing the criticism again that for some reason unable to win the big game. The calls are louder. The second Super Bowl loss in five years, and couple that with the big comeback, the biggest in history. He was the offensive coordinator for the Falcons when the uh, Patriots came back and from a 28-3 to deficit, so much so that New England fans now celebrate March 28th. Mm, right. Isn't that something? But we'll see uh, what happens with the San Francisco 49ers and Kyle Shanahan. I don't think they would uh, dismiss him. He's got to kind of look at him and go, hey, look, I yeah. got you there two, two times in five years. That's you, better than... You go down in overtime and kick a field goal. You look at your defense and go, okay, hold him, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't there some really... <laughs> right down the field. Isn't there some really complicated logic why they shouldn't have taken the ball? I keep hearing um, you, there's, No, the, yeah, there was the, the, no one on the San Francisco side was real clear on the new rules. I think that, and this is simply my opinion, I think the 49ers thought 
the overtime part of the rule from regular season where if you score a touchdown, game's over, no matter when it happens. If you score a touchdown in the new overtime rules, game's over. But in the playoffs, it's not that way. Both teams have to get the ball no matter what. Mm -hmm. And I don't think San Francisco was clear on that. Mm. And I still don't know why they kicked a field goal and after they missed it on third down and didn't try to go in for another touchdown. I, I don't get that one. But but none to, uh, the parade starts at noon, Tom, Eastern time there in Kansas City. Oh, they'll have a good time. Now, yeah. Josh, you're, exactly. a, you're a Missourian. Yeah. When, when uh, the St. Louis Rams departed, did uh, is the, the uh, is are the Chiefs the team that people kind of kind of a lot of uh, I mean in my circle people do like the Chiefs yes yeah so I think if that's representative of a lot of Missourians mindset then yeah uh, why not why not root for them okay I'm just curious when the Rams left St Louis go back to Los Angeles I I got the feeling St Louis was as long as the Cardinals were still there, they could care less. I think that's very much a baseball city. Yeah, it is, but there were a lot of people upset. Hmm. And still, like, there are still people who hold grudges <laughs> about that. All right. So. You got the St. Louis Battlehawks now. So. That's true. Yeah. Race, who the hell are they? They were in the XFL. Ah. Uh, yeah. And now they're in the UL. Ah, uh, okay. And Major League Soccer is in St. Louis and, uh, yeah, NHL. So. We never had an NBA. Uh, when I was growing up. Well, that's yeah. the most famous story in Yeah, yeah. Sports. St. Spirits. And NFL has been, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. But isn't isn't the... But hockey's there for you, right? But yeah, isn't, isn't the isn't the uh, St. Louis NBA team that doesn't exist anymore, aren't they still being paid off? Yes, I think the city still gets a, a, a nice... Like a million or two million per, in perpetuity, yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, there's Ooh. some crazy thing about that. Yeah. When, they, when they merged with the, uh, with the NBA, the ABA. Speaking of... Uh, Speaking of a lot of money, ESPN and the college football playoff have agreed to a new six-year deal worth $1.3 billion, with a B like boobies. <laughs> uh, that will allow the network to keep exclusive rights to the now 12-team playoff through the 2031 season. According to reports, a deal cannot be finalized, though, until the college football playoff works through uh, outstanding issues regarding the format and revenue distribution. The uh, Athletic first reported those those results from the $1.3 billion deal. Coming up, the University of Colorado and Cornhole. Hmm. We're going to talk about it. Okay. And, uh, it, it. Yesterday was Pancake Day. Ah, and a lot of records. Yep. A lot of records were set. We have a, a couple of pancake tributes, including a really good one from uh, the great Jim Gaffigan. Speaking of pancakes and food. Let's talk a little bit about HelloFresh. They want your 2024 to continue to be great. And um, maybe uh, it's time for some delicious comfort food. We've talked about the fact that at HelloFresh, they, of course, can provide you with, uh, if you want, uh, low-calorie stuff or low-carb stuff. It's kind of whatever you want, more than uh, 40 recipes each week to choose from. It's not really, the recipe really doesn't sell it. What I'm talking about is they have the food, and they uh, go shopping. They deliver the kit with all the fresh food and all the ingredients, and they're all measured. You just put them together sometimes in just a few minutes and pop them in the oven, depending on what it is you've ordered. And they've got, like I said, all kinds of choices every week. And HelloFresh has a new twist on things I'll tell you about in just a second. Christy, you working on something over there? Oh, yes. If you didn't grow up with these, we highly recommend the Tuscan Beef Stuffed Peppers with pearled couscous and melted mozzarella. It's ground beef with very um, interesting Tuscan spices already mixed in. They send you all of that six easy steps and you have a beautiful meal from hello fresh and sometimes they've got just simple stuff that the kids are going to love mm -hmm. um, uh, all kinds of burgers and meatballs uh, you got to check it out just go to hellofresh.com slash bt show free and peruse the menu by the way that new code bt show free will entitle you to free breakfast for life while your subscription is active it's that simple get that delicious kit uh, by going to hellofresh.com slash bt show free and that free breakfast item per box with an active subscription. Once again, BT Show Free. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Spice up your life a little bit and uh, save a ton of time. And by the way, it's significantly cheaper than takeout. Now, also coming up, by the way, in the news, um, we have a situation involving a uh, metal ring. And, yes, we uh, do. And you don't want to get it stuck there. We'll find out exactly what happened. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate...
back. Our girls have dumped us. Whoa, baby, blow. A kiss as you're leaving. Blow. Oh, a kiss right now. Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Blow me a kiss. Merci, madame. Wallaby bearded clam. Your biscuit, your beavage. I see your cooter cleavage. Your monkey, your muffin. You ain't not nothing. Your coochie, your flapper. You're showing off your snapper. Your kibble toe. It looks alright, so baby, let it show. Looks like a big taco. I see your camel toe. One man, two women, ooh la la, find different to play. Surround my face with tea and day. You say you're straight, but you're not by. How will you know until you try? The thought of Nookie makes you sick. Just hold your nose and take a lick. I wanna be Bob. What more can I say? I would smoke and drink and play golf every day. I'd have a lady for a caddy. She could hold my balls while I play. I want to be Bob. We want to be Bob. His name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. Famed home repair host. How is, how's it going, Bob? Uh, pretty good. Good. What can we do for you? Hey, you know, you guys are talking about something. It's pretty common. Uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of the home repair guys do it. I do it all the time. What's you actually, that? You actually take a nail and pound it into your penis on purpose? Heck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, really? Do you, do you use a nail gun or do you use a regular traditional hammer and nail? Oh, I, I'm, I'm not a conservative guy. I just use a nail. Okay. Oh, okay. In fact, I was at the hardware store the other day picking up a nail just for that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I... Uh, Took it up to the counter. The guy goes, uh, that'll be a dollar. I go, great. He goes, that'll be a dollar four with tax. I go, tax? <laughs> Where do you am? Kinky? Uh. <laughs> tax, too. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Sean Maury, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> comedian Nathan Trenholm in the studio with us. Now, Nathan, where, where are you living now? I'm, uh, I'm living in Los Angeles oh. now, mm -hmm. and I live with a guy and a girl. And uh, actually, the last time I was in town, I had some cookies, and I offered some of the cookies to my roommates, and the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. 
I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh -huh. It's pronounced waitress. <laughs> you're a waitress. <laughs> so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because... Uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail. Very, um... Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved in. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank yes, you. happy yes. Valentine's Day. Yes. yes. There you go. Now, I got a letter here about that. Hello, young lovers. You guys talking about Valentine's Day. I got it bad. You got it bad? Writes our writer. Okay. My wife's birthday is Valentine's Day. Ooh. I get a double hit every year. Whoa. Okay. But he goes, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Well, that's sure. sweet. Oh, that's yeah. nice. And he goes... By the way, wish me luck. Okay, good luck today. Uh, fellas, ladies, hope you did something uh, important. If not, uh, look for the guy under the bridge with the roses. Uh, <laughs> once again, just wipe off the cemetery. That's bottom. right. You know, right you can there. also do, uh, let's say, uh, go take your wife's car. Yeah. Uh, go fill, fill up her tank for her. They love that. Yeah, do, do things. Take it to the car wash, get it detailed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that'd be great. Maybe uh, do the dishes, fix that uh, banister she's been asking about. You can do, there are other things you, know you can do. The one she's been sliding down repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, she, you don't want that wobbly. Mm -hmm. You want it nice and sturdy for her. Wobbly from all that use. Well, that's what I'm saying. You got to <laughs> that banister more than you. <sighs> uh, so you're saying do something practical. Of course. Well, practical but sweet. Yes, yes. Yeah, there better be roses in the back seat of that car I'm when you're bringing back all cool. If let's say if you're in a position where uh, it's better for you to do practical things, that's great. That's lovely. Yes, it is. Hey, honey, I cleaned the garage. I love you. That well, I think a lot of know, women would be would kind of like that, but I, but I'm obviously I already cleaned the garage that last week. God, it was glorious. Did it yeah. give you anything? What? Uh, just the satisfaction of okay. <laughs> having a garage now cleaner than my office. Well, I think you should, Yeah, you always hold it over their head. Uh, yeah. Don't you love a garage day? You get out there. Oh, so it's the greatest. And organizing. You it's got nice and warm. Got music the, going. Got the, got the leaf blower oh, out. Turned the awesome. fan on. Blowing dust everywhere. It was, oh, boy. Got the broom. Got the mop out. You could eat off my garage floor oh, right boy. now. It's great. <laughs> you just moved in. How dirty could it have been? Oh, oh I had all the yeah, construction that was stuff what in I there. was going to Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the construction. Oh, so I bet it smelled good. All that uh, it's all clean. Fresh, uh, well, yeah, I like that construction material wood. smell. Yeah, it was great. Really? But yeah, I, I'm not recommending you clean your garage for your sweetie. That's all. Well, I'm look, uh, in my point, they, the, the people know. The people know what I'm saying. I think you have yes. a very different outlook on this as a normal man would. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you took that as a compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe you're, maybe she hates doing the laundry and hates it and hates it and it's all piled up right now. Do it for her. Fold. No, no. Yeah. I, I can't touch her laundry. I Look, I'm not I'm talking allowed. to you. I'm not allowed to. I'm talking to the people. <laughs> I can never figure out what I can never figure out what goes in the dryer and what doesn't. That's like Oh boy, then math, don't put like it in the dryer. <laughs> What's the dryer for? For God's sake, there's fifty thousand things hanging from the I'm sorry. Uh, let's just move forward here. Uh, what have you got over there, Mr. McGee? A pair of Colorado high school students have been awarded scholarships to play cornhole. Revolutionary. Oh, no kidding. What? That's what it says. Thunder Ridge High School students, Jackson Remick and Gavin Heyman. Made history by becoming the first Division One five-star cornhole recruits in the country. Wow. Division One. They will play for Winthrop University, <laughs> the first D1 institution to recruit cornhole players. I hope there are at least two. So and I want to can... think. I know I recognize Winthrop from the um, from the tournament. I think they get in the basketball team. Gets in the tournament every now and then. Oh, okay. Oh, they're famous for their jarts team. Are they? Winthrop? Uh, they <laughs> <sighs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. It was their horseshoe team. Uh, yeah, but, no, it was their beer pong squad. They, well, which is... They, well, they, they, they know, when it. you can't decide on a punchline, you go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, you really. You just <laughs> try them all. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. try them all. Punchline bomb the audience. Yeah, yeah. by the way, uh, <laughs> don't cornhole. 
uh, your girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Oh That's my goodness! It. Unless she wants it, <laughs> he just he just <laughs> trotted it right out there and and, and showed it to everyone. Yeah. Here you go. Do not cornhole her. Uh, is there a mascot for the cornhole team? I don't know what you're asking. Hmm. I would think something kind of like a Greek guy in a toga cornholio. <laughs> there, there, that's that's a that's out. Cornholio's the thing. Oh boy! Yeah, do nice little speeches. Nice beavis and butthead. Uh, um, I, I don't know what the. Uh, <laughs> Where is it? It's not. Uh, it's Winthrop. I wonder what the uh, what the mascot is for the Winthrop University. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, but they, I mean, this is a thing. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, scholarships for cornhole. Sure. There's scholarships for video games. It's a whole new world out there. Yeah. We're just trying to get by, aren't we? And okay. I think. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Cornhole, I, I know it's on ESPN every now and then. I saw it the other day. Yeah. Very yeah. Popular, How far popular. apart are they? I, I don't know what the standard is. I don't is. play, so I don't know, but there is a, obviously a standard. How many D1, well, I'm not going to ask. No, how I know. Many, how many, many D1, D1 what? schools play Cornhole? There at least has to be two to start. <laughs> <laughs> he brings up a good, yes. I mean, it sure is fun. Yeah, Winthrop, it is fun. Uh, Winthrop Eagles, and they are somewhere in South Carolina. Oh, there cool. You go. Can they drink beer while they're playing? Hmm. I don't know about that. I doubt I it. Know. I mean, they're Division One athletes. Tom, I think they'd get enough beer over at the frat house. I don't think they need What kind of nil money are you supposed to get? Kind of what? You know that, those, isn't it nil? The name, name, image, image likeness. likeness. Oh. Name, image, likeness. <laughs> They would be, per if, if this became at all semi-popular, they'd be perfect for certain brands. Oh, I think I would, I think we should get a, um, do a nil thing with some one of these guys representing the Bob and Tom show. Yeah. Cornhole player. Those cornhole that, tournaments have big time sponsors. Now, if you do that, though, it's going to cause trouble in my family. Because Why? my brothers have been petitioning Tom to sponsor our the Arnold Brothers fishing team. Oh, that's right. And I, I volunteered to uh, pay for having your brother's bass boat painted bass to mouth. <laughs> that doesn't help yeah, anybody. No, it doesn't. And then his wife nixed it. Well, they have children. Yeah, yeah, they have daughters, yeah. Well, yeah. Can't be in the driveway yeah, with yeah, that. You know, they, you know daughters. They can read, you know. Yeah. Well, I have daughters. I have daughters, too, but it's not my boat. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, uh, sorry. Cornhole in the news. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Pretty interesting. Maybe we'll look back on this day and think, remember when they sponsored the Cornhole guys? And I bet you the Cornhole tournament, I don't know how we could follow up on this, but the Cornhole tournament will get better, if not the same ratings, than the new football league gets. Maybe. Wait and see. I think it'd be fun to watch it. I bet you get to attend a live Cornhole match with a serious <laughs> player. It'd be fun. It's serious, but like... Cheering in the stand. Yeah. 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 We've been officially invited by the like United States Cornhole League or whatever as members. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We got it in the mail USC, a couple yeah. years ago. Huh. And whatever it is. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Very. I was honored. I'll be darned. Yeah. We're what honored. is the What is the um, uh, diameter of a, of the of the proper cornhole? You know, I don't know enough uh, uh, about the specifics. Do they do it in centimeters to go kind of a medical feel? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm around the world, an Olympics type feel. Why not cornhole in the Olympics? What am I saying? Would you rather see that or breaking? I think it's more valid than breaking. Mm. So you hear that? He, he picked up the terminology. He did, you know, yeah. Break dancing, it's breaking. You no, know, it's because break dancing made it sound ridiculous. I think breaking sounds worse. Yeah. You do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. actually called breaking, not break dance. Apparently, yeah. Oh. yeah. Once again, for the Olympics. And I can't, still don't know if you get to bring your own cardboard. I don't know how that works. <laughs> hey, who, that was Pat. You got a song over there, Pat? Oh, songs. Do you want to hear a song? I would love to hear a you song. A, you got a love song for Valentine's Day? Well, it's more of a, you may, have, you may go through this on Valentine's Day. Break up, have sex with me, make up. <laughs> make up, have sex with me, break up. We've yelled until we're hoarse. We're headed for divorce. Our marriage is over. We hate each other, but first some intercourse. Break up, have sex with me. Break up, have sex with me. Then screw me in court. <laughs> Break up. <laughs> a little short one to get you going. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's Thank some you, guy man. in his car right now going, yeah, that's real funny, Godwin. <laughs> <laughs> Having... Yeah. Right in the heart of that situation. Uh, okay. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, we return to the sports desk? Yes, we do. Stupid world record.
A town of Kansas has broken two pancake-related Guinness World Records. Really? Uh, the records for the longest line of pancakes <laughs> and the highest pancake toss. <laughs> which, by the way, I'm about to protest. Were attempted oh, in yeah. honor of International Pancake Day, which was yesterday. All right. Participants uh, created a line of uh, pancakes over 923 feet in length, made up of 2,800 flapjacks, <laughs> beating the current record of 429 feet set in London. I didn't even know they had pancakes in England. Frank Hampton, the so-called pancake maestro, attempted the record for the highest pancake flip. The maestro was there? And achieved a flip that reached a height of 32 feet. Whoa! That beats the current record of 31 feet and one inch. Tom, was this out of the pan and into the pan? Oh, Keep reading. Go. This, this <laughs> I, I protest. For the pancake flipping record, it appears that the challenger does not need to catch the flapjack after tossing it into the air. No good. I agree with you. That's the invalid. That doesn't seem like an actual flip. Flip. Just it's, it's a pancake heave. Yeah, you're just throwing it away. <laughs> I could throw it in the air 100 feet if I wanted to. Yes. You got to catch it. Yeah, I, I protest. Of course, the pancakes uh, used were donated to food banks and homeless shelters. And the people there said, this, Bless you. this pancake's been on the ground. Can yeah. I have another yeah, one? Yeah. This is the, way the flip winner. But, uh, yeah. These are the Swedish ground. pancakes. I'm kind of neutral about those. <laughs> yeah, what are they all about? I've never heard the term uh, Swedish pancakes. I have a box what are they? You have haven't? That, Until yeah. right this second. Oh. I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, absolutely. Neither do I. That That's must be thing. some hoity toity thing. Swedish pancakes. Are they yeah. thinner or smaller? Are not, or? Is that a crepe? Do they have those that. Uh, oh, a crepe would be a French pancake. <laughs> well, there you go. He got me there. Well, what's oh. Swedish? You get a massage when you get a Swedish pancake? What's that all about? <laughs> I, I just. I have a brand of. Uh, of uh, what you call a flower that I get that's for Swedish pancakes. How about that? It's and you, four Swedish pancakes. Yeah, yeah I, I have that too. For wow. For some reason. Um, I thought that was a thing. I, no, no, it probably is. Heard of it. Look, we're Philistines. It, Why would well, we know yeah, that? in your life, it, it probably says, is a thing. It says uh, American pancakes are thicker and fluffier. Uh, recipes for Swedish pancakes are richer in butter and eggs, but much thinner. Well, keep them, Sweden. I no, mean, no, I'm, I love thin pancakes. So, what kind oh, of flour the, do you use? The Swedish I, pancake I, I buy the Swedish pancake flowers in a box. That's how this all started. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought everyone knew about Swedish pancakes. No, Tom. Pat, you know about them? Yeah, someone bought that for me to make for Jimmy, yeah. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, real good. Oh, yeah. You like the thick, fluffy pancakes? Of course. Give me a... a no, thank you. The big old buttermilks. Yeah, there's a place around the corner that does those. I hate those. All right, well, good. I won't see you there. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a Belgian waffle or something that you're thinking it's of? It's kind of like a crepe. Look like at that. them. Oh, oh, yeah. They're like a crepe. Oh, they're delicious. No, oh. no. They, they look... That's each one crepe. of them looks like the first pancake. You yes. know what I mean? But, Josh, the beauty of those is you can put butter between each one. All right, now you're starting to sell me on this. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I like anyway. fluffy and thick. Yeah. They do look like what you would use to make a crepe. Or yes. A... Have you ever melted the butter and put it in one of those ketchup squirters? And I haven't. No. Have you? That's oh, brilliant. It's the best. That sounds like a fat guy thing. Lift, yes. uh, you lift up each layer. Guy. Oh my god, it's, it's heavenly. Uh, fat, 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 fat. Uh, well, uh, speaking of pancakes, I have a pancake race story. Oh, do you want to hear that? Yeah, well, I thought we'd oh. uh, feature something involving pancakes. All right. Uh, uh, kind of at the end, anyway. This is uh, the great uh, Jim Gaffigan. Comedian Jim Gaffigan joins us in the studio. A family man, a clean liver. Now, when you're on stage, Jim, you don't do a, a blue kind of show, do you? I'm very clean and kind of, uh, you know, I talk about cake for like an hour. Because, you know, cake's an <laughs> cake. important topic. Cake, Absolutely. tell me about cake. Well, well, there's a lot of different. Cake's a powerful food. Cake can actually bring people together. You know, it's Bill's birthday. Yeah, I hate that guy. There's cake in the conference room. Well, I should say hello. <laughs> Who am I to pass judgment on him? <laughs> it's his big day. Yeah. I mean, admit it, when you hear the song Happy Birthday, all you're really thinking is, I'm getting some free cake. <laughs> During the song, you just wonder what kind it is. Hope it's chocolate for me. <laughs> There's so many types of cake. There's rum cake, which makes sense, because we've all been eating cake and thought, you know, this needs booze. <laughs> booze? Bottle liquor. I don't have time to eat and drink. I only got two hands, buddy, and one of them's holding a cigarette. <laughs> There's fruit cake. That's a bit of a disappointment. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'd think that would be better. Fruit, good. Right. Cake, great. Right. Fruit cake, nasty crap. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Have you tried fruit cake? I don't even think that's fruit in there. You're like, 
When is that a skittle? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A seed in here? What is this? A treasure map? <laughs> What's the recipe of fruit cake? Anything but fruit? Uh-huh. It's like the baker was just clearing off the counters. <laughs> Man, put all that stuff in there. People don't eat this. They just mail it to relatives. <laughs> We all know cake's bad for us. You know, sometimes we try and disguise the fact we're having cake. It's breakfast. I can't have cake. I'll have a muffin. You know the difference between a cake and a muffin? Nothing. (laughs) How about those mini muffins? How much denial are we in when we're eating mini muffins? (laughs) I'm just going to have like one or 12. (laughs) They're so small, they don't really count. They're like muffin vitamins. I them, I feel like an astronaut. <laughs> That's why I have them for breakfast. You can't have cake for breakfast. Unless it's a pancake. How'd that slide through? <laughs> You're not having cake for breakfast. You're having fried cake with syrup for breakfast. <laughs> I'll load up on that and try not to nap. <laughs> oh, great. Jim Gaffigan. And the topic is pancakes. Yeah. Because uh, yesterday was International Pancake sure Day. Sure was. It always is on Fat Tuesday, that apparently. Was, that, was, that was our world. It's record. in my top five foods of all time: pancakes. Really? Mm-hmm. With mm. uh, butter and maple syrup. Mm. Really? Oh. Yeah. I, and I, I'm. Uh, I know that many will disagree. Yeah. But it's got to be real maple syrup and not the flavored maple syrups. Yeah, like like the yeah, uh, they bring you that thing and it's got the the lazy susan with like grape maple syrup. No, no, no. You know that's not flavored flavored maple syrup. Right, it's just flavored syrup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's immoral. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. And I don't really like the whipped cream and the strawberry. What? No, no, no. Just no, give me just butter do. and syrup. No, I you don't like an egg on your pancake. Hey. Oh, wow. Over easy, and then all the yolk gets oh, it soaks it up. Yeah, you ever been to one of those places That's where what they, toast is for? They have, they, they, have the, they have the big long bench, and they're and they're tapping the trees right behind you, and they're boiling it right there. You sit what? there outdoors eating the pancakes. See, what restaurant's real. that? <laughs> this, that is not a place. This gets back to my original thought when you said you, are, uh, you really said what? Swedish pancakes yeah. like uh, you would say Wednesday. You assumed everyone knew. <laughs> yeah, it's not this. You're not very relatable. Because you you're not that. very relatable. <laughs> and, and when you say something like, you know, when you go to the pancake, boy, they got the maple syrup <laughs> coming out of the tree. Yeah, no, I, I don't eat at Michelin star restaurants in Oshawa. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 this is, no, this is a really... It cost me $12,000 to get here. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a really funky place in the woods and uh-huh. you park and you walk through the not everyone is experiencing your life i know that, that it's you know to our uh, you have to other, I, other people are alive Tom. i don't think i like real maple syrup uh, like every time i've gotten that it's n- nowhere near as good as like log cabin it's not near as sweet it, yeah, I give really? me the fake. <laughs> give me the I've give me the chemical. You, you like <laughs> you like your maple syrup like your lady friend's orgasms. <laughs> fake. 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 Hey. Yeah, you know what? I do. They're, they're cheaper and <laughs> less tears and more frequent. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, they're getting yeah. the job done. Yeah. 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 No, you've ever seen you go to one of those country places and they've got their tap in the trees. It's the season. What? And what? They've got a fire I going. I've never been never. to never. a restaurant where they're tapping trees. No. Maple syrup. Yeah, of course not. I, w- I want to know right now <laughs> who's working where the trees? these restaurants are. They're out in the country. Who's working I, the trees I, today? I, I don't think you've ever no. been to a I restaurant no, where they're tapping not. trees out and, and, and on your way, you see like Amish folks no. driving by. You're a lion <laughs> sack of shit. No, absolutely. Uh, pardon me. Is this, uh, is this syrup freshly tapped? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to see the tree. And they're boiling. Yeah. The, st- the stickiest man walks in. <laughs> Here, sir. Full of regret and needles. Yeah, get his legs. Bee stings. Well, there you go. Oh, See, don't gosh. you like things that are authentic? <laughs> That's like a little real too authentic. Oh, no, it's great. I'm sure someone out there has experienced one of these great places. <laughs> Bees stuck all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I, so you know, many I know, ants. I know for you guys to be away from a television set for an hour <laughs> and actually being outside would be difficult. I, but uh, this is a seasonal thing, right? Yeah. You can't just go on a Tuesday. No, yeah, you can't do it this afternoon, okay. to my knowledge. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we have more pancake news coming up. Yes. Nope. Okay. Now I want pancakes. And we have a weird story coming up involving a guy known as uh, Gizzer Bra. 
Who the hell's Gizzard? <laughs> <laughs> and if you know if you know who he is, you might want to watch this video before he dies. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, uh, it's uh, really some crazy oh, stuff does out there. Hay does Haywood tap trees? Is that what you're remembering? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the kind of thing he would do. Absolutely. So you're, it's not a no, no, restaurant no. out in the country that everyone goes to all the time, tapping trees. It could, couldn't it be Haywood? No, no, no. I went to this place, and it was, it was great. And it was, <laughs> yeah, they got like a big fire, and everyone's kind of chill. Fire. Just fun, fun. It's something you should all do. <laughs> um, uh, uh, coming up, we have um, the benefits of music for the elderly. Very exciting news. Uh, and uh, how it may affect uh, things like uh, dementia. We'll find out about that if I can remember to do it. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Originally from Duluth. Originally from Duluth. And you made the. Uh, how did you make the transfer into the, the transition into stand-up comedy? Did you have regular jobs? Well, I yeah, I worked as a secretary, and I missed that. I missed the camaraderie because you don't always get to see people on the road as a comedian. So yeah, I miss that. Uh, where you want to go for lunch? What do you want to get for lunch? Where you want to go for lunch? <laughs> I get like a sandwich, some <laughs> or like a salad. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I mean, maybe we just a place I like, get like a diet coke. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we could go to Queen. <laughs> yes, we could. Yes, we could. I like the drama, you know, like, uh -huh. don't touch Don Donna's label maker. <laughs> okay. No, don't. Don't even look at it. Why? Because she bought it with her own money. Oh. oh enough said, sister. Uh -huh. Why don't you tell Donna to keep her mitts off my freaking tape dispenser, which she should know is mine because it's clearly label... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting mad. Who stole my key lime pie yo play? It wasn't me. <laughs> Did you eat my Southwestern style lean cuisine? No. <laughs> Did you eat my half chocolate rabbit I've been gnawing on for five years? It's <laughs> basically only half a head and an ear with a soft baby blue ribbon wrapped around it because my ma gave it to me for Easter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Oh. It took you too long. I had to scrabble it up in my chops. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to work as a secretary for a long time. Yes, you've been around. Yeah, I've been around. And I used to work as a Star Trek character in a touring show. I, was, I did a Star Trek character. Oh, we really? What? Mall, Wait a mall <laughs> openings and uh, Jack in the Box promotions around the country. Which, which uh, what Star character? Trek? Well, I was a Bajoran, uh, which is from Deep Space Nine. Not many people. Oh, Greetings. I'm Major Lilanka, the planet Bajor. Get the F away from me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was most of my job. What is the, what is the name All of the, right. uh, the tribe, the people? Uh, the Bajorans. So they're Armenians. Bajorans. We were most, we were <laughs> like uh, the Jews of your World War Two, <laughs> we decimated by the Cardassians, which are and the Cardassians definitely are media. Yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> They're lizard-like people, <laughs> and all I have left of my parents to remember them by is this bloody paper doll. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a napkin with some ketchup on it from the food court. Oh, so you're a denier of the Holocaust. I see. Well, why don't you wait for your wife to come back from the, t the Chico's where she's buying a boxy jacket? 
Maria Bamford is our guest. <laughs> <laughs> this paper doll. Oh. Did you? Did well, you? I haven't seen Chick look like that. In a while. That's good. Did you ever? Uh, did you ever work at a theme park as a I, I, character we, or anything? They uh, they trained us at a theme park, and it was mostly it was uh, in North Carolina, so it was quite. It was a very like it was a place where people wore a lot of religious kind of rock star T-shirts, where they'd right. go like, "Come follow Christ, he's going to be seen at the mega," you know, like yeah, that right. kind of uh-huh. thing. So we, we yeah, I did a little work there, but I'm not very good at talking to strangers, you mm-hmm. know, trying to get people interested in talking to me. I just, oh, it was just terrible. It was mostly that, like, greetings. You got makeup all over your face. Uh, you mean my genetic makeup? <laughs> I'm very different from you. <laughs> uh, I'm an no. Did you I wish the Vulcans would come back from their smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Track, track down your real deadbeat dad and have him pay for these Barbie accessories, you know. And... It's time once again for people who suck at small talk. Hey, uh, catch the big game last night? <laughs> uh, uh, well, what truly is a game when you really think about it? I mean, it's merely a struggle for conquest between competing rivals in a match to attain victory so they can feel superior about a relatively inconsequential endeavor. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I... <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. Nick Griffin's our yeah. guest. I, well, I'm, I'm glad that it... Uh... I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I try... I, you know, they're doing that internet dating, which... Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it, yeah. But but it, I just don't... I don't see a future in it because there's no story if you do get married with your kids. You know, I was... Checking the box score, and then I double clicked on your mom's head. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> this is Ross Bennett, and you're live. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. If he's done it, everyone's done it. If he's thinking about it, everyone is. <laughs> if he loves it, everybody loves it. If he hates it, oh, everybody hates it. Yeah, we're tapping trees today. It's Tom Griswold, everybody. Hello, Tom. <laughs> it's broadcast psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, my life perhaps not relatable to many. What? what? Uh, no. I got no, it. I, I love your life. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> Once again, the number one man. song today for the 40th consecutive year. <laughs> oh, That's right. From Bye Bye Birdie. Tommy living in 1963, ladies and gentlemen. One last kiss. Ergo, I love it. Everyone loves it. It never felt like this. And how did he not live in a can- uh, win an Academy Award for this time? Was Bye Bye Birdie even nominated? I don't think it so. It may have, no. I don't think it was, because it it's a crap movie. Have you ever seen it? No. So you're judging something you I don't need. Seen. I don't need to pick up a pile <laughs> of crap. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I, uh, and I learned I, that from you. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, oh, look at this one. This comes to us from Doug. I hate to agree with Tom, <clears throat> but here in Pennsylvania, we have maple syrup tours on specific weekends. All the local maple syrup places open their doors for tastings. They do serve food right in front of the evaporator. Real syrup is better, Josh. No, it isn't. You're wrong. I love you guys. <laughs> I appreciate you, Doug, and I, I'm glad that you enjoy it. But no, and in fact, Kyle agrees with me. He says, I'll take Mrs. Buttersworth, uh, Butterworth every time over that real maple crap. My kids are the same way. They hate and I, look, I know, I know that I'm... 
I'm going to say I'm wrong on this. I am going to say I'm You're wrong. You're kind of a this. jujune palate. I think, <laughs> yes, yes. I think when you grew up with sweet, Michael's yeah, like yeah. log cabin, they uh, rather exactly. than maple, maple syrup. Do you they... prefer margarine to butter? No, I don't. Okay, okay, well, I do not. No one does. You're, making, you're taking the first step then. And I grew up on margarine and thought it was thought it was fine. And then you and then I taste had real, real butter and go, oh, how geez. dare they hide this yeah. from me all this <laughs> yeah, time? Yeah. I like okay. a nice tub of country. Oh, country crop. Yeah, I mean, that's... What well, are you going to put your leftovers in if you don't use country crop? Dear Tom. Yes. I'm sorry this is not from Michigan, but uh, I have a Tomism for you. The other day, a friend couldn't remember the word for the periscope on a submarine. Oh. Uh, so she called it submarine binoculars. <laughs> yes. Oh, that makes sense. And uh, thanks a lot, Josh. Because of you, I can't watch the NBA without saying, hey. Is Vicky Vicky Wem Wem playing? <laughs> You're welcome. That's from uh, Paul. And good morning, folks. I've been listening to your show almost too much lately. And frankly, I don't know how you people can stand each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, who said we do? That's from Brad in Michigan. Thank now, you. Uh, we were talking about uh, Valentine's Day gifts. They're very tricky. Yes. You can't go wrong with jewelry. Flowers are always nice. A nice card is important. Mm -hmm. But, Josh, you suggested perhaps something practical like cleaning the garage or... Yes, but, I mean, you got to know that she'll appreciate it. Don't just do that. A little washing her car. Yeah, that kind of thing. Filling sure. up the gas. It's nice. yeah. Thoughtful, yeah. 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 Got this uh, from Diane. Hi, Diane. Bad Valentine's Day gift is the headline. Okay. It's a short letter. Vacuum cleaner. Yeah, yeah that's, that's bad. Yeah. yeah, that's a bad gift no matter Anything what. with a cord. Yeah. yeah. Well, not necessarily. Have you seen the uh, Vibraphone 2000? <laughs> you take that seriously. It's 220, really by the way. Paul's the mail. Yeah. Oh, but oh. tell you what. You're going to have a puddle in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> because the bladder let go or? <laughs> Everything let go. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> Here's a fatty, fat, 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 Comes to us from Virgil from uh, Austin. Hi, fatty. My fatty thing that I love to do is the following. When making pancakes, I take white cake mix and combine it with the pancake mix. The fluffiest oh. and sweetest pancake. Oh, oh that's <laughs> great. That really is caking up Tom the pancake. Tom doesn't like... The, I like the, the flats, the Swedish pancakes, the thin ones. They're like crap. <laughs> you know, the, that everyone eats. <laughs> yeah. The Swedish pancakes. Jason, have you ever heard of Swedish pancakes? No? No. It's like, <laughs> it's like eating buttered There's rolling papers. Pancakes and crepes. That's it. And uh, cre crepes rolled up. And no, yeah, get on this. He doesn't like waffles either. Yeah, yeah. that's bad. Not only waffles. that, but he gets visibly angry if someone has waffles and they could have made pancakes. It's the exact same batter. I told you, I'd, I'd never been to a waffle house. I went and, uh, where was I? Tried to get pancakes. Texarkana, or the pancakes. They don't have them. You're kidding. Well, you went to Waffle a Waffle House. House. Surprised you didn't get your ass yeah. Well, you know, so not, not, you know, so Just from walking. Yeah, not, not, now that you mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you on uh, French toast? I love French toast. Okay. Yeah. Love French yeah. toast. Very good. But what, the bread's important. Yeah, one of my favorite movie scenes is... Uh, Kramer versus Kramer, where he makes the French toast. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. well, at least it wasn't 60 years ago. <laughs> it was a, it's a great scene. It's a, it's a, it's a callback. It's brilliant. It's 50 years ago. That's a tough movie. Um, we're, we're making yeah. problems. Um, this yeah. guy's got a great idea. This is a terrific idea. Uh, get married on the 29th of February. That way you only have to get an anniversary gift every four years. This, sir. Is you know there's someone in this building whose anniversary is February 29th. Oh, no kidding. Really? I did not. They're currently in the building? Uh, I don't think he's currently in the they building. Tried... His name might be Cookie. Oh. They oh. tried to pull that, huh? Yeah, I was at the wedding. They got married on February 29th. Oh, by the way, have you seen Cookie's wife? How did he yes. pull that off? Yeah, no kidding. She's beautiful. <laughs> I, I, couldn't yes. agree, I couldn't agree more. What the hell happened there? <laughs> yeah. um, now, um, uh, we were talking and about you know the... what? She's Irish. Maybe she asked him. Oh, we'll have to ask oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, a leap day, uh, ladies. Way, thanks the, for getting him back on the... This is important. The Irish tradition, ladies, you can ask your man to marry you on leap day, and he important. has to say yes. It's important. He has to say yes. Yeah, he has to. <laughs> for the it's purposes like... of the song I've been working on, she has to say yes. All, All right. right. Now, um, we'll talk about pancakes. I, I, I do want to find out oh. if anyone... Has had a child, has had a baby induced because they didn't want to have it on the twenty oh, ninth. Sure. I think a lot of women oh, of course, have babies yeah. and and induce on the table because no. you're pushing and you're and uh, it happens. <laughs> you said you, you wanted to know if a, you ever had a baby induced. Yeah, a lot of women have. It's it's not. So I meant uh, not something uh, funny to talk the, about. The end of the sentence is <laughs> February twenty ninth. Natural thing. What would you know about it? Some ladies. When's the last time you were in a birthday room? Birthday room. 
I, for I, uh, room. I have been kicked out of many a birthing Birth, room. <laughs> Birth, birthday room. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Hey, hey, let get weird beard out of here and put the camera down. Yeah. <laughs> this turns you on, huh, you psycho? Well, you want to well. see the head crowning? That's what gets you hot. You're nuts, buddy. Yeah, that's what they are. They're nuts. What of it? You want to see what's wrong with our part with our culture? What? Too many nuts, and you can't call them that anymore. <laughs> there was loud laughter from when the, you, the crew. Yeah, you know when you could when you could call out someone being nuts. Yeah, yeah. that kept them in yeah. their place. This guy's a nut job. Get him out of here. Sorry. Okay. You have more, Christy. What is it? Yes. Several women in Britain took part in a century's. What the hell did I do? I got two sports. It's a pancake stories. story, and he's got oh, a song. Oh Christ! <laughs> <laughs> and now here's Pat Keeping to make his laugh. Right. Somebody slapped together. Oh. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Several, <laughs> Several yeah. women in Britain took part in a century's-old <laughs> pancake race in the English countryside. The competition in Olney, which takes place the day before the start of Lent, always Fat Tuesday, uh -huh. has been repeated over the centuries and even copied around Britain as well as liberal Kansas. According to the legend, a housewife in 1445 heard the, ch the church bells signaling the Shrove Tuesday service raced off with her skillet and pancakes in hand. This week, women lined up with frying pans in hand and tried to sprint the 415-yard path without dropping their pancakes. 44-year-old... Kasha Larkas took home the title this year. Sounds like a disease. Kasha oh, Larkas. Bad news, Christy. And what is this, pancake carrying? Kasha yeah, Larkas. pancake race. Yeah, here's Pat now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in the pancake Don't race. Don't throw me under the bus. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, I, oh, I boy. have a job to do Pat, over here. Pat, I was in a pancake race. Yeah. Where are you? I read and, the yeah, news Yeah, when you do today. it, the, the, the way to win, uh, uh, don't run. Why? I hop. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was I want, in a I was, I, Christy's doing the same thing I am. Okay, I was in a pancake race. Yeah, running under one minute flat. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. Better. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't think it's better than IHOP. Uh, no, no, Pat? Ace. Ace, if you see a pancake race, they don't have people at the side of the road handing them water. They're handing them little cups of maple syrup, real maple syrup, my friend. Yeah. Pat, you have a song? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. I see the batters heating up, hot on a skillet, bubbling like a spout to burn. Running with pancakes seems mighty silly. When will they ever learn? <laughs> Don't dress like Aunt your mama, or you're gonna get a nasty call. But for God's sakes, whatever you do, Josh says, please don't fall. <laughs> now the pancake race is on. I didn't shove it in there. Now the pancake race is on. Here comes Sheila on the backstretch, running with pancakes in a skillet. Oh, they look so darn delicious. I'm just praying she don't spill it. The pancake race is on. <laughs> Shut together. Who's that? Don Don Gibson, who the Jack race Jones. is on, and right. here comes Jack Jones did that song. Well, I thought it was Rodney George. Carrington. It was George? Look Shea. out now, my mama's Strait. got a boot. I think a lot of <laughs> That's an that. older song than that. The race is on, oh, and here comes, here comes heartache. heartache in the middle. Yeah. Uh, Heartache either way, way. Foo -foo on the outside. Yeah, <laughs> whomever yeah. it was, it was laugh free. Yeah, yeah. So we have. Uh, <laughs> you ever go to? Have you ever been to? Uh, you lived in Missouri. You ever been to uh, Liberal, Kansas? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, half the uh, cable channels aren't allowed on the air. <laughs> <laughs> what is just MSNBC? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for. Singer of ACDC. For those you never heard of him, it, it, he's like a pirate. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I was going to have a good time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, matey, we're going to rush up shore and give him a nice concert for a good hour and a half. And he's going to get out of here. Yeah. Um, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he That's what it sounds like. He comes and he goes, uh, Jimmy Mizun, I'm somewhere in Europe, and someone said that. There's a guy named Jimmy Brewer doing the hokey pokey. Because <laughs> I challenge you to come up on stage with me at the show I'm doing. Oh, my God. Yeah, it sounds amazing. 
Right? Sounds amazing. Right. We're we're at a club and he's doing a benefit, uh-huh. and so some of the guys from ACDC and Deep Purple and and all just and. Brian Johnson goes up on stage, and we rehearse for about an hour. He's like, okay, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to bring you out. And I'm like, are they going to like this? Oh, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. Uh-huh. I said, okay. Uh, t- all right. Well, when do I know to go? Ah, oh, the guy will come, and he come and get you, and you'll be on the side of the stage. He'll come and get you. <laughs> all right. So I'm on the side of the stage, and I get engulfed in the show. Uh-huh. Lights go down. The first song. <laughs> Playing shoot the thrill. Get the plate, the floor is rocking. Next song. Back in black. Wow. Chicks are now climbing men's shoulders. <laughs> I want a better view. <laughs> Third song. It's silent for like an hour, uh, for about three minutes, and then the the bongs of the bell. Bong, bong, playing house bells. Place is ready to riot, and the guy comes and gets me, and he's like, <laughs> "All right, kid, get on the side of the stage, hokey pokey, right at the hell's bell." <laughs> <laughs> All right. I said, no, 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 no. He's like, yeah, no, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. So I'm literally watching them like, Satan coming to you. Hell's bad. Like, there's no way that puts your left foot in, your left foot out is going to go up. Oh, my God. This woman is listening to the Bob and Tom Morning Show on Q95. That's disgusting. Why, nothing, nothing could be worse than that. Well, I stand corrected. The Bob and Tom Morning Show on Q95. Get up and get it on. Would you like to know what Chip McGee does while commercials are playing? I sure would. The Tom Show? Walk this way. Okay. Here you go. You're going into the restroom. Well, no, this happens sometimes. Sometimes you have to do quick decision making. It's locked. Right? Normally, Mm -hmm. everyone who works here knows that they shouldn't be in the bathroom when we're in commercials. Of course. Because I might have to use the bathroom. Number and one. I can't use the bathroom any other time than when we're in commercials. Number one or number two? I'd rather not say. Oh, well. Hello. Hang on. Your name, please? Chris. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you taught him his lesson. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Ah, refreshing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I fire him? Yeah. Why aren't you gone? Get your Because he has no real power here. I knew I had no power, but it still hurts when I hear it out loud. Mm. And the question. What do you call someone who's a spitting image of Junior Sampers? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Kenmore Weed Whacker. <laughs> Kenmore Weed Whacker. Yes. Oh no. What did Barbie yell as she made love with Ken in the tool shed? (laughs) (laughs) The answer is I, sir. I, sir. I, sir. I, sir. Yes. The question. (laughs) Tough envelope.
What does the code girl say to Sammy Davis right after she says, hat, sir? <laughs> <laughs> The answer is Stevie Nicks. Stevie, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> what happens when Stevie Wonder tries to shave himself? <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is Jim Gaffigan. Back to your bedroom, Christy. We've decided uh, mm-hmm. you need to remove the crucifix from the room. Uh, I think you should just go, go, go all out. <laughs> go all out and do what? Well, as soon as you open the door... <laughs> Disco ball. Right. Yeah. Condom machine right there on the wall. <laughs> Incense. <laughs> you know, even better, Tom, one of those little uh, machines that dispenses cologne. <laughs> no, no, no. One of them is uh, condoms. The next yeah. is French ticklers. Oh, yeah. Something that looks like a cat toy. You know? Right. And then... <laughs> yeah. I think we've done all the damage we can do. Oh, no, no. We and then, oh, I know. Start it. And then, uh, then a little the little button you walk over, uh-huh. press it, and you hear just your chick going, are you ready? To- <laughs> are you ready? To- yeah. Then, then, the, then the disco yeah. music starts. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Techno action. Uh, 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 Christy. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Actually, it's chicks. I- Bob. Actually. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Talking about can openers today. Um, interestingly enough, the so-called church key, uh, sort of a dated reference, certainly. Uh, but we had a picture of Paul Newman and Cool Hand Luke wearing a church key. Mm-hmm. And then we had a, uh, had a nice letter about the so-called P-38. Uh, got this from uh, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. You can buy the P-38 can openers at any Army surplus store. I have several. Glenn from Amarillo, Texas. Thank you for taking right the on. time to write. Man, oh. Glenn is a good name. You don't hear... Uh, there aren't enough Glens out there. Glenn. I like yeah. Glenn. That is, I have an Uncle Glenn. Oh, you do? Yeah. My dad's barber was named Glenn. Glenn. And he's a G-L-Y-N. Like Glenn Johns, the oh. record producer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see now. Uh, we used to call the P-38 the John Wayne. Oh, yeah? Once again, the P-38 uh, can opener. <laughs> Do you ever, by the way, you know how you know you're in a cheap hotel? Oh. <laughs> you ever? I can't remember Here we that. go. <laughs> uh, well, how is, do we know? They have that bottle opener over by yeah. the bathroom on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> is that a cheap uh, hotel? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's probably been there a while. Probably a motel. Been there for a while. Yeah. I've never done the difference. Hotel, motel. I don't know. Motel, you have a good place up. to park. So <laughs> you have one of them. Oh, what? No. That it's can't a, be it. It's a motor hotel. It's a, you what do they call those words where you melt them together? Uh, uh, portmanteau. Like, Here we portmanteau. are. Portmanteau. That's very fancy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, any, any, you, you know what I'm talking about. You, you, you go to a hotel and they got that bottle yeah, opener on the wall. I yeah. I, I never like, got I, I think I've seen one yeah. in... 50 years. That's what I said. It's probably an older hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that's a cheaper, older <laughs> I mean, hotel. Hey, when you paint the room, leave the uh, bottle opener up there. <laughs> yeah, don't take that off. <laughs> what do you mean, paper the room? Uh, either one. They probably yeah. wallpaper. They probably also have a razor blade slit in the wall. Oh, I love oh. those. <laughs> Can you imagine Are what's you down in there? Used razor blades? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's just a slit in the wall, and then they stop, and they just, they're just uh, down there between the, made sense. between the two by fours. Hard to throw away. Yeah. They yeah. have the bags. Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't the, you don't want your garbage guy slicing his fingers. No. Off. Okay. Uh, no, uh, do, did we have one more sports story? A uh, couple. Stupid world record. A uh, health and wellness company in Australia has set the Guinness World Record for the most people taking an ice bath simultaneously. Ooh. For the attempt, Ooh. an organization known as One Life Live It set up large inflatable pools on Leighton Beach in Fremantle. Participants were required to remain submerged up to their necks for at least three minutes to qualify for the record. <laughs> a total of 537 people made the attempt, but only 509 managed to go the distance. <laughs> Surpassing, though, the goal and setting the record, uh, the old record 483, now it's 509. Okay. I mean, I, how did they, if you see pictures of this, how did they get all that ice over there to a <laughs> beach? I mean, it's got to be tons of ice. I'm, I'm guessing... Uh, <laughs> Refrigeration, possibly. <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't even say in the story who maybe a cooler supplied the ice. You got you got you got, you got, you got above ground pools on a beach, and you're, they're full of ice water. Yeah. It's amazing. It's really hot down there in Australia right now too. Right? Yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. This hey. is like this is like the Titanic. Oh, Canada. <laughs> you got all these people in freezing cold water. 
<laughs> they have a door floating in one of them to see if, if the guy could float on it. Um, probably got some. I, I mean, I prefer having my testicles not down my throat. Uh, I think you know, most people do. Men. I don't know why that's become a thing. I, there's no way I could ever do that. That ice water thing? I can't do a cold shower. I can't do any of that. I'm with you on mm. that one. It's I huge, don't, I don't like it. It's invigorating. You have, it, is you, that what it is? You get like a jolt of energy afterwards. Is Ladies, right? you, get the old, uh, crazy. You, get the, you get the old foe. Yeah. <laughs> the THOs. <laughs> yeah, I don't think better. anyone says... So, no, yeah, it's say definitely THO. THO. Oh. Well, uh, to, in Tom's defense, we just taught this to him during the commercial. And I couldn't, oh, I couldn't really? resist, yeah. So. Oh. I thought it was that whore over there. No, that's THOT. And that, that when you, you do pronounce it, yeah. Huh? That's, that's what, that would be twat. <laughs> you say that'd be thought. Twa, that'd be two. <laughs> 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 it, would be, it would be thwat. Oh, okay. It would be thwat? T H O W T. That whore over there would be T. No, no, it's that. T W O T. It's that ho, H O E. H O apostrophe. The oh, slang I for see. whore. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, that ho so, over there. So in, prop, in proper circumstances, it would be twat. If you wanted to say that whore. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you for clarifying that, Chip. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Stupid world record. <laughs> shrunken weenies is their word for that. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> like like Twick. <laughs> A man from Missouri has broken the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of casino chips. How about that? He must be rich if he turned him in. Mr. Paul Schaefer <laughs> of Kansas City. <laughs> Not the great Paul Schaefer. Earned the record title with his collection of 2,250 casino chips. Casino chips. Casino no chips. Chip. This is about <laughs> casino chips. <laughs> the very first chip Paul added to his collection was one his mom bought, uh, brought back from Vegas in the 80s. His favorite chip is the 1964 $1 Christian Jones purple chip from the Thunderbird Casino in Las Vegas. How about that? He has a favorite chip. Another reason <laughs> Paul collects casino chips in his never-ending story <laughs> is to help preserve the history of all the great casinos, many of which are long gone. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. kind of true. There are some rare casino chips Paul is in search of, including a $25 chip from a small Oklahoma casino that no longer exists. Well, What's the name of it? Yeah, Maybe somebody could help you out. Doesn't. That's why they can't find it. Incl another <laughs> casino. That, I, I'd like a chip from a casino on Mars that hasn't been built. <laughs> yeah. out. He now hopes to set the record for the largest stack of casino chips. No, no mention of how how tall that would be. Mm. How many chips? How many <laughs> chips would be in that stack? Well, no, no mention. Of so it. it'll be a different story. We can <laughs> re re review that. And get it ready for tomorrow's show. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, Christy Lee, what have you got coming up? Uh, coming up, we have a very special um, promotion for those of you who are brokenhearted this Valentine's Day by a very famous restaurant chain. Should we go ahead and do it, or are you done? Go ahead. You can no, go. go ahead, do it. Oh, okay. Do it. <laughs> P.F. Chang's is offering something special for you Chang, brokenhearted Chang, fans. Chang. Don't go Chang. <laughs> this fast food chain will be giving six free dumplings to people who have recently under, undergone a breakup. Oh, they got really? dumped. Yeah. They got dumped, dumped. Josh. Mm -hmm. Here's your dump dumplings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Real cute, You Chang's. can text 855-697-6181 with the message Chang's Dumplings and their breakup story or screenshot to receive instructions for redeeming your shrimp or pork dumplings in a restaurant or on, via delivery system. What's the number again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eight, I'm writing eight, it down. 857 eight, eight, five, five, six, 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 I do love dumplings. According to P.F. Chang's executive chef, Eliza Cordova. Fried dumpling, right? Got to go fried. I'm fine no, with steamed. 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 Fine, yeah. You don't like steamed dumplings? Nope. Our dumplings program. Hey, can I have something that tastes like wet paper? Why? Here's your steamed dumpling. <laughs> I have to disagree, Jeez. Chick. Steamed? You like steamed dumpling instead of fried dumpling? Yeah, of course you will. Delightful. I know you like them prepared right there at the Great Wall. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Uh, Using baby once pandas. Once again, belts. once again. How many <laughs> tables are at the Great Wall of China? Uh, uh, authenticity. I bet there's a lot of tables, man. You can see that restaurant from the moon. Did you know that? Uh, 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 B.F. Shanks has the Great Wall of Chocolate. Oh, big, nice. Big oh. old piece of cake. So you, you can, if you, if you break up, they give you these six dumplings. Yes. And they said you could have them delivered, which uh, is, yes. I think, the way to go. So you you're not to, sitting alone on Valentine's Day? Yeah, you don't have to be sitting the there. 
sitting there eating your thing, and there's some poor slob crying while I'm trying to eat my General you Tso's should. General Tso's chicken. <laughs> some poor slob. <laughs> you should have to go in and get them. I'm I got three dumplings. Oh, Steve, I don't know why, why she broke up with me. Why would you Apparently, she eats real fat, too. <laughs> why would you eat steamed dumplings? You know fried dumplings are available. Why would you? Oh, uh, steamed are steamed. delicious. You're wrong. They, they, no. have, it, they have a different mouthfeel. It's whole, it's I'll great. give you a different mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs> You dip them in the sauce. In the, stabbed in the nose with a chopstick. You like the sauce? I Do love the like? sauce. Yes. yes. Okay. It's well, like a plum sauce. sauce. It's ginger aromatics. <laughs> you know what's a great idea for Valentine's Day? Yeah, After chick. 52 long years, it's finally happened. This past Sunday, Popeyes fans everywhere experienced the perfect pairing. It was Popeyes commercial during the biggest game in the history of the year, and. Their new lineup of chicken wings. Now, Chick, Gosh. do you prefer your chicken wings steamed or fried? <laughs> I like the chicken wings the way Popeyes makes them. I'm with oh, you. Yeah, have you heard about their new flavors? I, I sure have. All crispy, all juicy, and we're talking wonderful new flavors. Sweet and spicy, ghost pepper, signature hot, honey barbecue, and roasted garlic parmesan. Mm. Wings and football go hand in hand, but football isn't the only opportunity. You've got basketball, tennis, March Madness, and Valentine's Popeyes Day. Wings? Are you kidding? <laughs> Pickleball, wall ball, high line, hockey. You mm. name it, hockey. If you're not absolutely run out of everything to watch, <laughs> you could watch hockey and have a Popeye chicken wing. Sure. Oh. Popeye's wings are also great for any occasion: birthdays, anniversaries. Christy, you said Valentine's yes. Day. You're right. Share some wings with your sweetie. Mm -hmm. Even uh, well, Wednesday. Uh, Ash Wednesday, you can have a nice wing. Well, you're gonna have to wait on that one. Oh yeah, I don't know the rules. You walk in there with a, <laughs> you walk into Tom's cornhole tournament with a box of Popeyes wings. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. the hero of the party. You know, yes. you dip them in maple syrup, and they're tasty too. Boy, you're fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes that. I bet that is real tasty. Next to get get together the neighbors because they'll definitely do something nice for you in return. The point is, people love wings, so order. From Popeyes today for your upcoming, by gosh, whatever. In fact, some be. people say, "Chick, ain't no thing like a chicken wing." Oh, no. did you, did you, Popeyes uh, chicken. Did yes. you see the Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, yeah, with Ken Jeong, mm -hmm. our friend Ken Jeong. Yes, the, the comedian Ken. and physician. Uh, is is a terrific commercial. It's like a time traveler. He's been frozen. Very funny. <laughs> um, did you see it, Christy? Uh, yes, for the purpose of this conversation. <laughs> Keep it going. Somebody's a liar. <laughs> yes, we all have. I'm sorry, I did not. If we don't say yes, you will describe it to us. So naturally, we would say <laughs> I, I thought that would happen. Yeah. But I said yes, and he and described it to us. he still did it. <laughs> yeah, he did it anyway. Uh, 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 I'm doing it for the benefit of Coming up, we have a 70-year-old <laughs> love letter that was found. Oh. Uh. Uh, isn't that sweet? Oh, I'm dying of yes. consumption. <laughs> but I love you. Oh, boy. Thank you. The romance in this room. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, we have, um, uh, Chick doesn't know it yet, but uh, he's going to do one of uh, my favorite things that he does. Uh, there's a, a very unusual news story uh, coming up that uh, you'll see. It'll, it'll trigger a little bit of something. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Thanks for joining us. It's Donnie Baker. It's come to my knowledge and attention that some dick named Scott Potasnik's Potsickers, whatever his last name is, has been bragging about going behind the scenes. Well, I got a backstage pot. I had a backstage pot. I'm allowed in here. This is a recording studio where Bob and Tom do a lot of their stuff. It's called the Static Shack. I swear to God, man, look at this right here. Spiral staircase. I mean, this is as close as I'll ever come to visiting Graceland. And the fact remains, they've got everything here. Look at this. They got twin towers. That's what I call them. One commode next door to another commode. I swear to God, you could drop a deuce and play Battleship. This right here is the actual behind the scenes of the Bob and Tom store. I bet you didn't know they had a store. They have to. It's state law. And if you buy stuff from BobandTom.com, you have to get it here. All kinds of tapes. Countless tapes. Even got a computer. And look, mobile staircase on wheels. You can make your own Paula Abdul videos. They even got Donnie Baker tapes. I swear to God they do. This one's mine. Prove it. And I don't care if there's a barcode. 
don't fit. Yeah, man, there's more holes here than Al Capone's vaults from during medieval times. Matter of fact, somebody's in here working. Hey, man, I got a backstage pass. It, oh, uh, PJ Yingers does a bunch of the artwork on the no. Bob and Tom albums and stuff. And you don't care if we come no. in here, sit on the couch and no. everything. No. Now, I swear to God, he does. He, I'm allowed in here. And we chit chat and do all. And what are you going to do about. <laughs> They've got everything here. This is basically Bob and Tom's Hall of Fame. You can see the Bob and Tom band, and obviously you can tell Bob's a big fan of the Beatles. There's so much in here. This is going way back. This is basically Bob and Tom's version of the History Channel. Archival tapes back before AM was even a band. I swear to God, I've looked for my rips in here. It's a lot better than Ancestry.com. Matter of fact, I got a membership and a password, and when I uploaded my picture, they transferred me to Ancestries.com. Explain that, chick. Come down here. Tell me this ain't badass. Bob and Tom got their very own strobe light. I got one too, but I still got six more payments at Spencer's. But there is probably the best place in the entire recording studio to shoot a porno, right here in this hallway. And with the strobe light, you can make the good ones. Anal. What's in here? I think this goes right to... Oh, hey, it's Alan Jackson. He's the recording master here at the Static Shack, bragging about how he has Dolby sound and bass, whatever. Funny. I got better on Pioneer speakers. He probably makes 400 grand a year just sitting there. Again? Huh? I, look, I told you I need at least a five and a half week notice them, before you show up. Them faders need WD-40, and they're supposed to be even. I swear to God they are. Well, some people call them faders. I call them sliders. Uh, well, uh, those will give you farts. <laughs> I swear to God they will. Alan Jackson. Get it, Donnie. We're okay. busy. Okay, whatever. Prove it. Well, we've basically reached the focus point of this entire tour. This is where it happens. Right here. These are real drums. This is where bands come in to record acid rock tapes. You can name them all. Most of my bands, Dirt Knuckle, Hood Snot, Mucus Plug, but that was during our Christian rock days. But you can tell, real pine wood recording panels. They've even got soundproof herpes there's everything in here and this is where the music is made and this this room here this is uh um i don't know what this is but it basically reminds me of every haunted house i've ever been to watch your step watch your step all right now you've seen the bands this is where some of the radio stuff happens come on in here this is where bob and tom behind the scenes types do a lot of their funny skits i swear to god no i built myself a shelter out of plankton and chicken bones oh this is a mr obvious show i love you guys which one's mr obvious are you the caller or no it's sid and bart yeah wait you're the dick on the news that uh no 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 uh, Say Fox 59. I'm not going to do the Fox 59. This is a guy that no, knows the Powerball numbers. I swear to God he does. I could hold you for ransom. Yeah. We're security. In I'll this. manipulate it. Yeah. Now we're at the epicenter of this stupid place. This is Tom Griswold's office bragging about I went to an Ivan League college and it really ain't that big. Hell, my boss Randy's got a bigger office than this. Look. Got aluminum siding for walls. All these stupid pictures that he thinks are cool. Anybody can own a cartoon. And look, I'm glad to see Tom saved up to get Liberace's jacket. I'll say it right to his face. I swear to God, man. Uh, I just ran into Donnie Baker in the parking lot. He said he was giving a tour of the Static Shack. Yeah, and the dumbass didn't even go into the main studio. You know we don't let Donnie into the main studio. Besides, I've got a session for Tom in a few minutes with six oboe players. It did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Candy. Cats are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah, can't go right. anymore. <laughs> Holy that's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bobbin. Hey, welcome back to the Bobbin Tom Show. We're here. We're going to be joined by Jess Hooker here in a moment, and here is uh, Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Stacks O'Mail. Um, yeah, I have a letter. 
What do you got? Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. And that's what this refers to. Uh-huh. This is Dan from Savannah. My wife and I have been married on um, 27 years. We bought a Valentine's Day card a couple of years ago. Our tradition, she takes it out of the drawer, hands it to me. I read it, hand it back. She reads it. We kiss, say, love each other. Goes back in the drawer until next year. Oh, that's funny. Love it. That's Isn't nice. Isn't that great? And that's, that's, a, like, that's like a legit tradition for them. They don't buy gifts for each other. They do that's multiple a great idea. trips. But very sweet. Yeah. So, easy ah. peasy, he says. Good. That's a good yeah. thing, Dan. Sounds like something from a rom-com. They're the parents. Then it cuts to their daughter, and she's mad because her boyfriend didn't get her or something, and then some new guy steps in, and it's a Hallmark movie. Oh, uh, mm. yeah. <laughs> and he's got uh, big hands. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's called, it's called Sodomigo. What the, how did this sweet called, little she's taking, tradition she's taking a Spanish turn class. into this? <laughs> what is happening? It's called, what's going on? Everything, Fingered on the 14th. Everything oh, else. my God. <laughs> You know, the term fingered. <laughs> it means two different things. It's it's really alarming. Carries yeah, it could be uh, accused. Yeah, sure. He's been fingered of a crime. Uh, he fingered me. Okay, yeah. It can also mean... <laughs> All <laughs> right. Um, now, uh, we have been joined by Ms. Jess Hooker. Hi. It's always nice to see you. I like your new Linda Ronstadt hairdo. I've told Thank you that you. before. Thank uh, you. No, it's very nice. You're going to have Thanks. to shave your head. Or that's yeah, going to continue. No, it looks really good. Thanks. You look like Linda Ronstadt when she was wearing the Cubs got uniform in, like, Here 1978. We go. Um... I was Therefore, mentioned. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Therefore, everyone's aware of that. Iconic performer. Um, remember the one she's got the roller skates on? Oh. Yes. No, that was Usher. <laughs> yeah, Usher wears roller skates. Come on, wait. And by the way, we don't. We need to start calling the halftime shows dance shows. Let's just let's just get it out there. Yeah, you know what I want to see. He's saying a lot. Everyone yeah. dances. And they're, I, I want to see Neil shows. Young out there warbling through the yeah. needle and the whatever the <laughs> hell it is. Needle, and needle and the By the way, uh, oh. cinnamon girl. Oh my god, kids. the halftime show was amazing. Hey, by the way, Neil Young and Crazy Horse are about to go on a tour. Oh, so. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, Neil, uh, I'll be. Ask Miss. Man, Great. I do not care for him. Back it up, Neil. Gee, man's a brilliant song. Right? Um, now, we were talking about pancakes, Jess. I heard. Now, I mentioned Swedish pancakes, and I might as well have said something in Chinese. I got right. the stairs. No one's ever had. Are you aware of, Ch of Swedish pancakes? They're essentially crepes. That's what <laughs> I they said. They are. They're, they're, that, doesn't yeah. mean, that doesn't mean they're not great. No, they're just usually not folded. They're stacked like pancakes, but the consistency is that of a crepe. They're delicious. Yeah. And I was if trying to explain to Josh, there's more surface area for more grease and butter. Yeah. And, yeah no, okay. you ever well, taken... not necessarily more surface area. No, not not at all. Thicker pancakes. Oh wait, I, I see area. what you're saying. Instead, instead, of, of, instead of three, I mean, in other words, if you you thick, could, yeah, yeah. say say you had a one inch thick <sighs> thing of regular pancakes, say yeah. that's four pancakes. Right. But you're talking. So, you have eight pancakes. Yeah. Then you you have you could have fifteen of the Swedish pancakes. So there you go. That's and fifteen. If you, were, if you were to lay them out. You could put butter on this significantly more hey, surface area. Why don't you just area. eat a stick of butter? Don't play his well, game. I, okay. <laughs> you're right. And don't play her game either. She's worried about you know what, you know, calories. What problem I've always had with... Uh, <laughs> have a butter. Have a piece of butter. This is an issue I've uh, had with pancake advertising. Yeah? Oh. You always see a square pat of right. butter on yeah. top of the... With syrup on it. Sure. Spread that butter around... Who's just getting to the pat and eating the pat of butter in that one bite? It's Ideally, I, so good though. Ideally, the heat of the uh, pancake will spread it. Right. Remember, no, I asked you, I asked you earlier, have you ever melted the butter and put it in one of those ketchup squirters? No, I let the heat of the pancake melt mm -hmm. the butter. Josh, you're missing it here. This, I am uh, giving you a, a life-changing opportunity here. Do you heat the syrup? Uh, I like the syrup warm, yeah, yes. Yeah, a lot of people do. And I like real maple syrup. Well, wait a minute. Where do you keep your syrup? In the pantry or the fridge? Uh, Anywhere. Uh, in, in the, the backyard. In the syrup warmer. In the tree. <laughs> if it's real maple syrup, it has to be stored in the fridge once it's been opened. I see. Yeah. Um, I thought it lasted forever. Uh, it does last forever, but once you open okay. real maple syrup, it yeah. has to go okay. And then I mentioned I'd gone to one of these maple syrup festivals where you're sitting outside at huge picnic no, you tables. Didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You, know. you didn't say that. You never said You never said about festival. a festival. You well, said there was a restaurant, and you know, out back, they're tapping the trees and making the syrup. And I believe it was presented. Presented to us as remember when you used to yes yes like we remember when we went to Torch Lake and yes. we uh, well, I'm we sorry learned to paddle I, a canoe uh, I, 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 I'm so sorry with the were, Rockefellers yeah. you were in, you know that you I were, met Gerald Ford at the ski lift no I don't you were sitting in front of a TV tray watching some awful television show yeah, oh, man, oh, we are, and doesn't terrible. that bring you happiness that I'm <laughs> suffering uh, yes Jason writes Happy Valentine's so. Day. Yes, we could take a tour of the property in Mason, Michigan, eat pancakes with freshly made syrup. It was an outdoor event in the fall. Thank you, sir. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Yeah. That's good for him. Okay. Well, speaking of pancakes, uh, I brought you guys something for Valentine's Day. You did. It's a chick-inspired recipe. It's donut holes we're going to warm up in the microwave. Oh. oh now this is amazing. It's something yeah, we this can is do. really and something. And then on the side, I brought uh, some hot honey. So if you want to drizzle some What's hot honey. What's her name? Honey, mm. That's very silly. <laughs> Spicy, not oh, cheap. Pat, this isn't the day for that for you. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, you're you. think of it. You're I've, got a, right. I've got a cup of shut up. Is there a chicken <laughs> in the donut hole? Is that, what did chicken? I, what did you say? Oh, no. Oh. I see. Uh, Christy, she, a chick oh. recipe. No, chick, no, no, a chick, chick recipe. She said chick inspired. I chick. I no. It's really true. You don't hear a word I say, <laughs> do you? This is an inspired Just recipe. said it's a Just chick inspired. Chick inspired. She said yeah. chicken. So and I heard chicken in a donut hole. And I heard that. Too, and I'm sad that there's not chicken in the donut. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Now these I, are I they're not going to live up. Now I yeah. miss a hot honey. No, on I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> that's okay. No. You know, uh, we Imagine have. Imagine putting a, chicken in the donut. Oh, that yeah. sounds amazing. It would now. be amazing. Yeah. yeah. We have a uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. Go Nuggets. Come on, Tom. Oh, yeah. Will you please? Oh, will you front the money for dough nuggets? <laughs> they have chicken and waffles. Yeah, they do. We, we can talk about the name. Chicken and chicken and donuts. Chick Fil A on chicken uh, so you, and dough nuggets. Donut they're, holes. They're sugary. They they, they're yeah, they're, they're uh, chicken yeah. nuggets surrounded by a donut hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> savory and sweet. Done. All right. Okay. All right. That, that sounds not very edible. <laughs> It's the same as chicken and waffles. It's What's the, the difference? Really What's is? the caloric oh. count between a donut hole? With a piece of chicken in the middle of it, or <laughs> your scenario, eighteen Swedish pancakes. Oh, I, clearly, I'm. Uh, I've overstepped the, the, the caloric content of. Them. Remember the Chris, Krispy Kreme hamburger? That oh. worked. Yes, it did work. You, you put a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Use it as the bun of a hamburger. Oh. Delightful, just delicious. With Sounds bacon. Not with that bacon. That adds a little saltiness to it. I speak English. I have no for bacon. sixty-six years. I don't know what he said. With bacon. Well, uh, Christy, what's going that. on over there? A Michigan man discovered a 70-year-old love letter in an old toolbox. Mr. Rick... From an old tool. Trojanowski <laughs> told WXMI... Come on with that. It's Valentine's Day. Leave me alone. That's a Roman, that's a Roman numeral, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, WXMI. What is that like? It's uh, no, it's a million X's, minus 10 no, plus a, one. it's 1,011, but the X has to go on the other side. Right? He purchased yeah. the toolbox in 2017 at a farm auction, recently discovered the love letter within. Oh. It was addressed to Mary Lee Cribs <laughs> in Grand Rapids from Corporal Irvin G. Fleming. That's right. She had a lazy eye. <laughs> She did, Mr. Fleming? Yes, she did. And she Corporal, could, Corporal Fleming. She could look. In the letter, Fleming apologizes. I was in the Air Force, mister. <laughs> in the letter, Fleming apologizes profusely for a disagreement the couple had months earlier and expressed his unyielding love for her. He writes, Mary, I need you so very much, and I know that I'll always love you. What the hell is this? He wraps up the letter asking Mary something he's asked her before and apparently Anal? something Question she previously <laughs> agreed to to marry him once he returned home from duty. I noticed that you smiled a little when I said booty bandit. Uh, <laughs> Is that something I can hope for? Troj uh, Trojanowski has tried to find out more about the couple, but so far has turned up empty. So if you know anybody... Well, she's in not at the bowling alley. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Polish rubber. Well, I've looked everywhere I can think of. It's a bowling alley. <laughs> she found a letter in a toolbox. Wait yeah. a minute, what's a Polish rubber? Uh, Trojanowski. <laughs> a what? Trojanowski. 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 Uh, very much. Polish rubber. So, but no. Uh, so this, the, the he love letter. To get this back the to love the letter was in a toolbox. Yes. To Mary. Yes. I wonder if Mary played for the other team. <laughs> Boy, that was a jump. <laughs> when you're done scissoring, <laughs> Cindy Lou Harper, please write me back. Is that right? <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was a sweet Tool Valentine's box. Day story, and you yeah, ruined it. <laughs> 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 she sent her a, a drawing of. <laughs> I wonder before before My God. sexting if anyone ever drew a picture of it. Well, sure, of course sure. they did. Here, here, honey. I would think. <laughs> what do you think of this? And he sends her some panties now disintegrated of course, <laughs> after seventy years. Um, Didn't our staff artist do that? Doesn't he always draw pictures of naked yes. women? Yeah. Yeah, but he, he's like a bona fide pervert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fine artist. Yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm just wondering, you know, prior to the so-called... known by initials, though, primarily, right? Prior to so-called, uh, 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 what are they called? Sex. Dick, oh. dick pics. Uh, sex, oh, okay. sexting. Right. Yeah. I'm wondering if back in the day it would be common for 
Like to, like, to do a self-portrait? Yeah, to, if, if someone who's a very talented artist would, hey, mine looks like this. And, <sighs> and then, of course, the, the gag, the gag, of course, would always be, be a piece of paper. You had to fold it out to get the whole thing. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, to see it scroll it like yeah. an old yeah. hair. <laughs> to, see, to see the sack unscroll. <laughs> who, would, who would that work on? Hey, mine looks like this. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Especially in Victorian see, days. My <laughs> goodness. See, I don't, I don't understand who that would work on con contemporary no, cultural no, photographs. I wouldn't think. Do you know anybody? There are girls that like that. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. I have a girl that has a, a friend that has a photo album. She just she keeps them all. What? Yep. Hmm. Yep. How many does she have? Well, it, there was a legal case involved, and they had to download a bunch of them from her phone. But yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. You have some. You have some, co some complicated friendships. You visit her I, now. I think Happy should, yeah. Valentine's let's, Day, let's, everybody. Let's stop talking about it. Is she allowed <laughs> conjugal dick pics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I? Hey, I'm in the joint, but how about this? Uh, uh, Can you get a hold of her a d digital dickopedia? <laughs> it's like Wikipedia, but it's primarily images of. Uh, no, well, that's kind of a sweet, uh, sweet story about finding the old letter. Maybe yes, these people will turn up. Maybe story. relatives will turn up. And, oh, yeah. somebody's oh, oh, that was my grandma. But those names, those names just sound so perfect. Mary Lee Cribs. Yes. Yes. And Corporal Irvin G. Fleming, probably a oh, hero. I mean, that is, that's a James Stewart story right oh. there. I, this is Mary Lee Cribs. <laughs> uh, let me lasso that moon for you, Mary. Well, he's, he's crazy. He's oh. gone crazy. <laughs> but, you know, but in all those Hallmark Either movies. that, I'm going to lasso your neck, Mary. <laughs> James <laughs> you from the life <laughs> James Stewart stars in Town it. Wacko. <laughs> like I said, he's nuts. <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> what would life be like without the Town Wacko? <laughs> it's, it's called, it's much quieter now. <laughs> Every time a bullet fires, oh, an angel gets his way. Oh. Okay. Oh. Bert, don't you know me? Why is that? Bert, Bernie, don't you know me? <laughs> oh, God, we got to get out of okay, here. Okay, time to go. Well, you're a Muppet. What? <laughs> now, in the, in the Hallmark movies, Josh, I know you like to watch them all. I do, I do. Don't the people always have really generic... You know, names and so on. Well, the Christmas ones, it's always, you got your Holly and your Noel. Yeah. And you're, they're always named. There's some it's kind not, of It's not like this guy. You know, Rick Trojanowski <laughs> isn't, no, isn't yeah. the lead. Yeah. No. Yeah. So that uh, that's changing a little bit. Speaking yeah, you know. of the elderly, new research indicates music may offer health benefits. According to scientists from the University of Michigan's National Poll on Healthy Aging, 85% of older adults reported listening to music. Three quarters of people aged 50 to 80 say music helps them relieve stress or relax. 20% said music is even more important to them now than it was in their youth. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I get that. I just, uh, I mean, I can see you know, the, that whole thing of they're playing our song. And yeah. You're, you're, I just kind of wonder what that's going to be like for the upcoming generations when... Don't say the B word. When, uh, no, no, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, they, oh, hey, baby, uh, hey, now that we're old... I was just thinking about us back in the day, and I, I'm really in the mood to hear a little bit of a, a little bit of our song. Uh, you know, back that ass up. That brings up that brings up some good memories. Uh, okay, a juvenile. I saw him once in concert. Uh, Whip that out. No. Huh? Who? <laughs> 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 that is that is a good song. <laughs> It's a fun song. It, it is, is fun. Fun to dance yeah. to. Yeah, you got a, old folks in a mosh pit with those little wheelie motor carts they have to drive. <laughs> it looks like bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Wee wee you bumper cars? You know, what are those called? Those, those little rascal things. <laughs> mosh pit full of rascals. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hey, man, play that juvenile. <laughs> I'm going to ram your ass up. I'll tell you what, then, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you got to be. <laughs> play that juvenile, he said. <laughs> They're playing, they're playing a song. <laughs> Play that juvenile. This makes my old lady horny. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what the difference right, the, is. The accent's starting to slip from old to something else. Uh -huh. so gotta be careful. Be careful. <laughs> I know as I as I age, I'm I get up, I play that song, Staying Alive. <laughs> Just to remind me of what I got. Oh, I gotta breathe today. Okay. <laughs> that's Do what you that's and your doing. lady have a song? Uh no. I don't think mm. so. Yeah, uh, we don't either. We were talking about that yesterday. Should we get you one? 
No, you can't. Like he said, you can't force it. Yeah, how can no. you? You can't force a song. It's yeah, let's be... let's have the listeners vote on a yeah, song. Back your ass up. That's our song, honey. <laughs> well, I think it begins. I think it begins and ends with. Uh... <laughs> it's quite a difference, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, one last bitch. Have you heard this? How do you dance to this? No. <laughs> this is from Bye Bye Birdie. Go oh, back that ass up, bitch. Fuck it, one last kiss. Give me one last kiss. In the butt. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. See. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> <laughs> a little bye bye birdie for you. Okay. Anything they say. None of us have great seen movie. it but him. I haven't and seen it. I've, I've seen it. Oh, you have? Yeah, in high school, it, we had it's an absolute it. classic. Oh. Mm. I remember absolute laughing a few classic. times because Paul Lynn was such a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Rydell and yeah. Margaret Dodds. Oh, Dick Van Dyke. It's brilliant. Dick Van Dyke. Okay. <laughs> Janet yeah. Lee. It's amazing. Sure. Um, oh, she gets stabbed in the shower, right? Yeah. Yeah. James Dean. Yeah, that's right. By Paul Lynn. Hey, it's a woman! Stab, 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 stab. Oh, God, I saw a nipple. Stab, stab, stab. Okay. Anyway. Okay, we'll be back with more. We got a lot to get to here. Oh, yeah, we got We got As Tom said, we have a story. I want to hear about that OnlyFans lady. Yeah, we have that. Kid is back in school or whatever. You'll find out. All right. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show, sponsored by Better Help. Now, it's a common misconception that relationships are always going to be rosy. Everything is easy in order to be right. Not true. Uh, therapy, by the way, can help you work through things and the challenges you face in this 2024. Let's have a great year and keep it going. That's where therapy comes in. And BetterHelp has a contemporary idea to make therapy that much easier to access. Here's how it works. You uh, go online, take a brief uh, uh, kind of a questionnaire, get matched up with one of 25,000 licensed therapists. By the way, you can switch therapists at any time, no additional charge. Then the idea behind this that is so simple is so smart, and that idea is the therapy itself is done online, and it can be done uh, like you're on a Zoom call or like you're on a phone call or texting back and forth, whatever works for you. And it's also obviously a lot more convenient. You don't have to leave work, get in your car, drive somewhere, sit in the lobby, wonder what that guy's issue is. No, you don't have to do any of that stuff. It's just you. It's all about convenience with better help flexible and uh, suited to your schedule so become your own soulmate whether you're looking for one or not visit betterhelp.com slash bt show the slash bt show part will knock 10 percent off your first month better help h-e-l-p betterhelp.com slash bt show this portion of the bob and tom show sponsored by better help coming up we have um uh, some interesting science news and then some poor idiot uh, got a something metal stuck on something um, hard. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Is that the safety dance? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. You know, so it, it really, maybe TV is your thing. Uh, <laughs> you, are, you are quite the dancer. <laughs> Yes, you are. You, I mean, for a, for a stout man, you move well. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, I'm... laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't. Well, you're a stout man. Even it? elephants have moments of grace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're a, you're a, a uh, husky no fellow. For, for a guy who it clearly takes 15 minutes to get out of bed. Gosh, uh, you let alone. So <laughs> anybody in the room break their toilet seat this weekend? Oh, my for, God. <laughs> for a man who nearly passes out every time he ties his shoe, uh, you certainly can. No, you, you, you really do. Move well. Oh, let's go get water. <laughs> just leave them here. Let's just leave them here. We'll, you and me, we'll go. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I. Uh,
Look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. What did the uh, the judge say when the uh, skunk came into the courtroom? Oh! <laughs> what did the judge say when the skunk came into the courtroom? Older in the court. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be getting told in courts uh, throughout the country. Older today. in the court. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There. Absolutely. Yeah, I got a letter. Damn right I did. Get a letter. I thought your, you meant you got a fanny. Your letter jacket. <laughs> I got a valedictorian jacket. Is that something? Yes. Is that, is that, does that mean anything to you guys? Yeah. <laughs> I got a letter from my huge wiener. Is that, uh, <laughs> is that could that be it? it? Yeah, is, is it ironic? <laughs> That's not it, is it? Do women care about that sort of thing? Do they give letters for banging three teachers? <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. Woo! The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. <laughs> Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. This is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. We have uh, a guy that is, uh, I mentioned earlier, internationally famous for a little something. It's the only talk show devoted to the artistry of uh, the bass guitar. It's a little thing we like to call... Bass, bass talk. talk. Wow. It's the Bass Talk Show with Mark Christopher Roman on the bass. Uh, yes. Marcus, how are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Good. Well, this bass player, he was having trouble finding a gig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a so, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so he decides to take a part-time job in a funeral home. Uh-oh. Okay. So he's working with a funeral director, and they're late one night, and uh, a local guy named Stanley Smith had just died. Mm. And he's there on the table in front of him, and they're just amazed at this guy's certain body part. Oh. It's incredible. It's it, astounding, actually. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than any porno stars you've ever seen. Wow. So between the two of them, they decide this has to be saved for posterity. Mm -hmm. So they remove the body part. Mm -hmm. And they, well, who would know, right? right. right. So they remove yeah. it and they stick it in this great big glass jar mm -hmm. with formaldehyde. Mm -hmm. Well, the bass player decides he's going to take it home and show his wife. Mm -hmm. So he takes it home and he sets it on the table. <laughs> he says, honey, come in here. you got to see this thing that I just brought back from the funeral home. Yeah. So oh, she comes no. in and she takes one look at the jar and she goes, oh, my gosh. Stanley Smith is dead? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see why people flock to the airwaves to hear the fabulous show. Based on. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Awful entertaining. Essential Morning Radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Uh, Christy, I don't know if you've seen this, uh, but it says, uh, this is from the science editor, Stefan Anitie. Uh, the headline is, 10 minutes of staring at boobs daily prolongs man's life by five years. <laughs> I'm going to live right. forever. Now, according to this, <laughs> according to this news account... This says, uh, 10 minutes of staring mm -hmm. at the charms of yeah. a well-endowed female is equivalent to a 30-minute aerobic workout, according to Dr. Karen <laughs> Weatherby. Well, you, you get one arm working out. Yes. Men aged 40 or over should spend at least 10 minutes a day admiring breasts, size D cup or larger. 
<laughs> oh, there's a requirement. This? this is from FARC. I, I have to tell you, I, qualification, there is qualification. I am a little right, skeptical. First of all, the headline should be Bob Kavoyan lives forever. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is Reno Collier, and you're listening into town. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom is here. We're getting ready to uh, relive my magical moment from a couple weeks ago when I just... Uh, as an afterthought, put donut holes into the microwave, and I couldn't believe how amazing they were after like 20 <laughs> seconds in the microwave. I, I couldn't agree more. It was so great. I do the same thing with a bagel. So uh, soften them up. Yeah, I, I don't mind a bagel at room temperature. That's fine. No, 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 no. No, don't muddy the water. No, you want these to be for donut holes. Warm in the. Nothing about I'm a trying bagel. to. I'm stealing your thunder. Uh, bagel uh, holes. I was, I was have never taken off, really, have they? Bagel holes. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, mm. like little round bagel bites. Yeah, what that's about a that? thing. No, no. I'm the saying holes? that you you. <laughs> The oh, donut hole took off. Yeah. The bagel hole hasn't really taken off. Yeah. What he said was bagel holes haven't taken off, and you acted like they were available at your local grocery. I've never heard of them. That, <laughs> that's well, they, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. What is, he meant. <laughs> hmm. Is that I, I, I'm, I wonder why that's not a thing when the donut hole... Probably too much surface area. Again, the, we get into a problem of physics. But the donut hole works so well. Uh-huh. That's because it's sugary and sweet. Oh, all right. Okay. I, you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When's my contract up? <laughs> what did I say? What did I, five, six years ago, what did I say? <laughs> 30 years, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Christy, what have you got over there? Uh, the children of an OnlyFans creator in Florida have been expelled That's from their Christian school because of their mother's OnlyFans car decal. Well, now, but remember... The story, when they told her to get rid of it, she then she had her entire back window with a giant OnlyFans thing on Ms. it. Ms. Michelle Klein became the subject of controversy, Tom, when officials at Liberty Christian Preparatory School barred her from dropping her children off in a car that featured a large OnlyFans sign. You know, the sign says, see my chocolate starfish, twelve ninety five. I don't know, maybe. In a letter to <laughs> so Michelle and her husband, the school administrator said that the discussions with Michelle about the sticker promoting a pornographic website on her vehicles, asked her to remove them or park off-site. They say Klein then obtained an even larger vinyl lettering scheme that covered the entire back of her vehicle's tailgate ah. and mockingly posted a photo of the larger display on social media, referencing the school's request that she remove it. She gets thus on a, starting she, this controversy. She gets on a fan's forking over the dough. She can afford a what? nice, expensive heathen school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... She's making a living, and yeah. uh, oh well. She's flaunting it. She could have been cool, and just you know, you don't take that to school. That's all. It's just her car. It's not. It's, it, it, she's it's, going. She's going through the you know lot with all the kids. Would and, that? Yeah, it's uh, not a big deal. Would that make you mad? Yeah, it would be. T it's tasteless. Like this show. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. about the people that are listening to our show in line? Well, it's in their car. It's very private. It's. Yeah, uh, thank you. And we're being tasteful. Hey, I'm being told yeah. that Duncan has bagel bites, so little round bagel things stuffed with cream cheese. Oh, That's a great idea! So, and they're, and they're in the shape of uh, Ben Affleck's head. Oh, sounds Isn't delicious. Oh, and Jess is the Duncan uh, Kings has just brought has us, made us warm well, donut, donut holes. holes and with... These are he been heated up in the microwave for how oh, long? Wait a minute! Jess? Wait a minute! Um, our microwave sucks. They have little sticks. Well, yeah, <laughs> they have little sticks with hearts on them. They sure do. Yeah, it's Happy Valentine's. I'm gonna eat mine now. Where do you get? Where do you get oh my word. Uh, little toothpicks with hearts on them? Oh my god! Amazon. That's nice. Amazon has everything, Dom. Yeah, I have. You can take some. I have a bunch left over. You can. It's take like a funnel cake. Mm. It's just awesome. Yeah. Holy hell! Okay, delicious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, give me seventy more. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Well, now let's move from OnlyFans to mm. uh, what over there, Christy? I'm just eating my. Diaper. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were eating diaper wearing your adults looking for a safe space. All right. To role play as babies, can now head to the new diaper spa in Atkinson, New Hampshire. It's about time. Set up by physician Dr. Colleen Murphy, <laughs> the diaper spa seeks to sever diaper wearing. No, 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 to serve. Oh, serve rather. <laughs> diaper wearing individuals. Circumcision. Yeah, sever. Sever, sever them from the society. <laughs> 
to uh, serve diaper-wearing individuals above the age of 21 looking for acceptance and care. Now, this is not to be clear here. This is not for someone who may have uh, issues in that area and has to wear an adult diaper. No, this is no, for this people is who. A, a this is for people who want to be treated fetish. like a baby. Activities listed on the venue's website include playtime, story time, play time, nap time, cuddle time, changing time, coloring, nursery rhymes, and sing along. <laughs> have they worked in a uh, fifty-minute segment with a psychiatrist? Yeah, she is a doctor. Changing time. No, it's like. Mm, can you guess what time it is? Mm. <laughs> Prices start at one hundred dollars per hour and go all the way up to fifteen hundred for a twenty-four hour stay at their band. You know what? If, I mean, if that's your like main fetish and your fantasy, I bet that's reasonable. A hundred bucks an hour? Yeah, to get to finally and what was absolutely. get off the way you want to. Oh, people. What, was, oh, right. what was the twenty-four hour thing? Fifteen hundred dollars at the bed and breakfast. There's going to be a waiting list for this. Yeah. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Like strained prunes. Oh, oh. you're right. Do they <laughs> have to eat that? The baby yeah. food out of the jar. I bet yeah. that's. I bet that's part of the whole thing. You think breastfeeding <laughs> is part of the thing too? Maybe. They have to get some wet nurses. That may be. There may be a legal issue there. Mm. A formula. I don't know. Could that? Would that be legal? I don't want to How live in a country illegal? where that's not legal. <laughs> you have, to, you have, an, have an adult. Breastfeed Where another a baby adult? man can't suck the boob of a wet nurse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they can't, of a course. A baby man. <laughs> you know, John Steinbeck at the end of it. Remember what? that? At the end of what? What? No one knows what I'm talking about. What book? Now what? Oh, never mind. Of wrath? <laughs> I thought you'd... Oh, that. no, I haven't read uh, everything. Oh, okay. Wait, isn't Rosa Sharon giving him the old... Uh... I have no idea. Okay, never mind. I, I, it's been a long time. But, uh, but uh, this is interesting. I, I don't know. <sighs> Your thoughts on this, Josh? Is this... Oh, like I said, I think I think yeah, this is uh, going to be popular with those guys who this is their thing. I, you never hear the women who want this. Of all the fetishes, this one makes me so angry. It <laughs> angry. does. It does. It just ugh, gross. Don't. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't judge, but ugh, that's. I, mean, that, I just think it's the worst one. But I'm I mean, a baby. <laughs> see, it's not funny. It's yeah. not funny. It's not cute. <laughs> I don't like it. She's mad. Boy, she's <laughs> mad. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard of uh, Mr. Chick McGee? Yeah, Wait, I think what? that's the trigger here, to be honest. Oh, so you don't want him Change to do it? Change me, I'm dirty. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, I, I hate it. Yeah. I hate he it was so waiting much. all morning for I you promise to say that. that. Chick no. didn't know it was going to be coming, but there it was. Can you do it yeah. one more time, please? Change me, I'm dirty. Do it in style. <laughs> oh. Oh. What would you do if you were a fellow you, grown man? You know how to Another do grown man was speaking to you in this manner. What would you do? <laughs> well, I'd get an erection. But I, <laughs> most people. Change me, I'm dirty. Yes. And I've kind of tried to stop saying that because I've. that's not the only complaint I've gotten yeah. across uh -oh. the country oh, yeah. about people who uh -oh. have to wear diapers. Yeah. Oh, well, that's we're talking about a different thing. Now, are the diapers as part of this soiling them? Is it like a I think it is. coprophilia yes. thing going on here? Well, it's the whole thing about being a baby, yeah. And just being cared for because mm. clearly your mother didn't care for you. Oh. Something. Well, I'm not yeah, sure what the, what the background would be. It's just it's unusual, certainly. Oh, man. But you're right. You don't hear of women having this. No. No. You never know. No. I know. I know. Oh, they may be out there. In fact, odds are there is at least. A... But I guess there's a caregiver fantasy. I mean, these people yeah. pair up somewhere, right? Yeah, uh, that's what the internet is that, for. That sort of <laughs> fine. You mean the mom that never wants oh, to? Oh yeah, little... the mom that never wants to stop being a mom, no matter how big their kids get. Oh, that's yeah. really Ooh, troubling yikes. too. But uh, yeah. you know, they say, uh, in, it, well, this is in New Hampshire, right? Yes. The license plates live free or diaper. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say? I just thought of that. It's so stupid. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> that should be the. They should sell that bib at this place. Live free or yeah. diaper. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, what's coming up? I know we have sexy time with Allie Breen. Yes, what else we you got do. over there? Well, we have a motorist in England who was too drunk to drive. We've all heard that story, right? But who would you call? And then we have another guy accused of going over 150 miles an hour on a motorcycle. Oof. And, and do uh, you, by the way, uh, the, the beauty part of this is he's, well, taping himself and posting it everywhere. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, and we, do you think you would dislike a vegetable if somebody you were with was eating a vegetable and said, ooh, I don't like this? Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Let's say we're having uh, would, would it transfer to me? Would yes. it be contagious? I'm eating broccoli. Oh, I hate broccoli. And then all of a sudden you go, I don't think I like broccoli either. No. No. It doesn't make any sense to No, me. it's called personality marrying, <laughs> and it's a weird uh, psychological concept. Wow. If someone try, tries to get you to like them, they act like you do. Oh, but, I see. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I agree with that. that oh, yeah, whatever yeah. you're saying is correct, mm -hmm. Josh. Yeah, yeah, there are people like that. How do you think hip-hop got popular? Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, when we come back, we go. did, did someone say hip-hop?
<laughs> I didn't look at you, Tom. I didn't look at you. My I know point. you're running the board correctly. No, no, no. It's, I know you're running the board correctly, and I know it has to be something in the board that's shorting out. I know that. No, 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 no. This thing's got a hair trigger. No, my God. Hey, speaking of hair triggers, uh, never share. Oh, uh, uh, this what? is the Bob and Tom <laughs> Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. I've got something that'll cheer you up. We often uh, record announcements for various what? stations along the Bob and oh, Tom radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day... I thought, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and uh, you guys, as usual, were... <laughs> I honestly forgot about it. I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and... Um, we had to. This is. This, these are what you would call an uh, an outtake version of it. Where did we did will not be. Uh, We're not going right. to put them on our albums. The fifty um, studio outtake album. Oh, see, people would want to hear that. <laughs> it's like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like they'd yeah. want to hear Josh yesterday yeah. saying something <laughs> bad. He, he, slip of the. He just yeah. said the oh, S word. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize oh, that as the so called S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh -huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought it was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, Josh how, and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various bomb oh, social media wigs, platforms. Great wigs, by the way. Huh? Hands yes. off to yeah, you. I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is. Um, <laughs> I would have. Well, this is what it sounds like when we're. We've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so th this has been beeped. This is the beep one I'm assuming over here, Dean. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, why would he give you a non-beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's... <laughs> well, Dean's close to retirement. He no, might no. like to see that. <laughs> but see, and maybe it's me, but it's... Like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you guys remember the time that happened? One yes. time! That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one yeah. time, God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your <laughs> no, cut. Oh, God. Cut yeah, your yeah. Head yeah. Off. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. This is uh, Here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. <laughs> off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? <laughs> He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. You thinking about f for Thanksgiving? I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotion, potions? Okay, here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? Adult toys. Ooh. See, you're supposed to answer. Oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved uh, one. Uh, oh, uh, did you guys know that has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm -hmm. And Josh. Yes. For you. Yes. A d straw. <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But right. <laughs> and, of course, Josh, they have... Novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're I'm, novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only part. The only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the oh. whole. F <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> the Low Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? <laughs> online at guilt. <laughs> it doesn't stop <laughs> not sound at all like that. God, Tom. <laughs> you know, he goes, no, I thought, the end he goes, at guilty pleasures, <laughs> yes, you can barely get the seas out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow, we had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happened. Guilty, go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have sex a, chairs or swings. swings. Do yeah. they sell, yeah. those, do oh, they sell okay. those male member straws? Haven't you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm, I'm going to say is no. What that? Oh, she hangs in a basket, and yeah. maybe and she, then you uh, put her and on, and you spin her, spin her, her yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. What is that? She vomits all over you? From <laughs> Sounds awful. What a weird, kinky guy you are. <laughs> Sexy Tom. Okay. Is. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more. Things like that. Finally, I decided I just, I'd had enough, and I was going to come down here to Florida to retire. Mm -hmm. The guy I can't believe it. He walks back into the room to the guys. He goes, What's the deal? Why are you selling that talking dog for $20? The guy goes, because he's a big liar. Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. State of California. Mm-hmm is uh, apparently they're in the process, I guess, of banning the Mylar balloons, they're yes. called? Yes. The small ones? The silver ones. Passed silver in ones. the Senate, it's on its way. Because the apparently Senate. these balloons cause massive power outages. I can see it's an important, serious business. Mm -hmm. But when, in the course of learning about this, we found out there actually is a group called the Balloon Council. Yeah. This is someone's job, someone's life. They have to take it seriously. I'm sure there are a lot of issues with balloons. Oh, I'm sure. Nothing to laugh at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a serious organization. Oh, absolutely. Dear Bob and Tom, mm -hmm. writes Gary. Gary! I want to know what every other American wants to know. What is the Balloon Council doing about inflation? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gary, Gary. thank Gary. you for your letter. Oh. <laughs> Today's Cliff Notes Theater, the monumental epic movie, Titanic. Oh. <laughs> Man, this is some boat. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Cliff Notes Theater. Uh -oh. Cliff Notes Theater. Uh -oh. When you just don't have time to set through the whole movie. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Jess Hooker joins us. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chicky Chicky. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Covered a lot of ground today on the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, yes. Very pleased uh, with what's been happening, and I think it's time to cover just a little bit more ground, something we haven't touched on yet, of what's course. That? Man with a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. <laughs> yes, Ace. Why was the ghost so sad on Valentine's Day? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Why was the ghost sad on Valentine's Day? He didn't have a boo. Mm. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. <laughs> it seems like he would have a boo. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. all he yeah. would have. That's why we said it. Maybe more than boo. one. Yeah, yeah, many few, boo. few boos. Yeah, so he would have too boo many boos. <laughs> boo a boo few. Ace's joke of the day, sponsored by Sleep Number, save fifty percent during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com. Well, thank you very much, Christy Lee. You're very welcome. Uh, let's uh, move on. What else you got at the news desk? Well, uh, I'm not going to identify where this took place for a big reason. You'll understand when I keep reading. Firefighters had to rescue a man who got a metal ring stuck on his male member. Oh. According to the Daily Star, the man reportedly put the metal ring on his member to, quote, increase stamina. Where'd this happen? During intimate activities. <laughs> In the In, groin area. Yeah. <laughs> This, that, and there are pictures of this all over the... He said he got the story. notion from oh. social media videos. However, he developed painful swelling and went to the hospital where doctors contacted the fire department for help after the firefighters spent 20 minutes sawing off the metal ring. Yikes. The man's penis was freed with no lasting injuries from the ordeal. The patient... Well, was... no lasting physical injuries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't you think when the fire department whips out that angle grinder things mm -hmm. are going to get soft Ooh, i mean i would think it'd shrink right up wouldn't it well and plus but at that point the ring's going to heat up because it's being cut mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. they probably have to have cold fluid running something out they have well, to, the, oh it's like a wet saw 
Yeah, and then the photographs, the, but they pixelate everything. Sure. The I'll bet it, I'll bet if it happens to me, they have to pixelate a lot more of the area. Oh, boy. Sure. Yeah, yeah we know. Oh, huge I'm like a horse. The patient reportedly said, <laughs> <laughs> I've asked the shop for a refund, and I want them to pay for my hospital bill. Well, that's ridiculous. They <clears throat> did not warn me that it could get stuck and oh. added, I will be using a rubber ring next time. Sure. <laughs> I understand. I know why he did it. Why? Why? It was like in that movie, A Christmas Story, his buddy's triple dog dared him. Oh, mm. yeah. Just got, got stuck. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's not the best analogy. I doubled your day, yeah. <laughs> Pat, what do you have to say about this? Oh, love is an elusive thing. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. no. So I got me a new C-ring. <laughs> swollen with turgid desire. <laughs> now it's stuck like it's in barbed wire. I called the local firefighters. They tried to free my willy, but the ring got tighter, and it hurts, hurts, hurts. <laughs> Pain's a nine or higher. Damn this ring of fire. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow. Maybe, like, show him naked pictures of his grandmother. Something like that. That'd... Well, who would mm. have those? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just think about it. It's true. Okay. <laughs> Get a guy going, hey, look, I want you to start thinking about your grandmother naked with your grandpa, okay? Something uh -huh. must happen physiologically where the blood vessels cannot yeah. empty and therefore right. it just stays. That's exactly yeah. right. We get yeah. this story every couple of years. That happens. Yeah. I mean, and I would imagine that at this point, yeah. emergency rooms must have some kind of pretty heavy-duty tools for some stuff. I would think. Um. Mm. I mean, like a gigantic bolt cutter. Yeah. To, Welding. But I guess, you, but the, I guess the problem would be getting it you underneath. Can't get it or, yeah, yeah. If it's already. No, you probably use the, one of those little saws. I don't think the power tools that are in operating rooms are that different than our power tools. Right. 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 Like a, a chest saw. cutter's got to yeah. be very similar to. Mm -hmm. but I mean, yep. if you go, okay, son, I want you to take out your male member. Uh, hey, Steve, get the saws all. Yeah. What? Orthopedic <laughs> surgeons are great carpenters. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well. A group of models strutted down the catwalk recently wearing. They always seem so happy. Don't they? <laughs> and they walk funny. Yeah, what is that? Why are they so pissed? What are they uh, made Yeah. Of? They're starving. They're, they're, they're hungry. They're starving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wearing nothing but tiny pieces of tape over their private parts. Oh. The presentation was part of a runway show for the Black Tape Project Sunday. The New York Fashion Week show featured models including Nina Jovanovic, uh, Junie B, and Teddy... Mansueto. The Black Tape Project sounds something sounds like something Nixon was involved in. Yeah. Uh, 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 right with me, Henry. <laughs> yeah. And Henry. wigs. Uh, uh, no, I didn't want duct tape. I want electrical tape, you idiot. They're seen stomping down the catwalk in a series of outfits made purely out of electrical tape or black tape. I saw these. They're pretty amazing looking, actually. They're, yeah, they, they are. They kind of look like very elaborate bathing suits. Yeah, but did you see the fourth one, that one no, girl? No, I didn't. Which one? She used that flex tape they advertise on TV, tore a nipple right off. <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. What is that guy? He has an, an aggressive name, too. Hi, I'm... Art Steam with <laughs> the flex tape or whatever. Is I love those ads. They put stuff it's in a damn on the boat. They I build love. a boat out of a screen door, John. <laughs> yes. I yeah. love, I love those along. ads. Yeah. You believe all that. He's a pretty good pitch man. He's a great pitch man. Smiley. And... Do you believe all these pitch men? Yep. It's fun. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? It's oh, cool. really? The yeah. Federal Trade Commission. Uh, okay. Yeah, Our yeah. Congress wouldn't let them broadcast unless it was true. These aren't. This isn't your standard county to county flim flam really? man. That's right. These are good pitchmen. He's Got not a medicine man. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Yeah. With um, the tonic that will cure all. Yeah, but you are right, Tracy. I saw these pictures and they these dresses are not dresses, but they're 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 the tape. It's not. Like there's only a little bit of tape. It's not there. like there's three pieces of tape. It's like oh, okay. elaborate. It's not like little X's. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. It's then, like they're like. Did gotcha. you see the thing that, yeah, uh, like that that dress that Miley Cyrus wore at the Grammys was yeah. made of fifteen thousand safety pins? That was pretty cool. Phil Swift. Yeah. For Flex Seal. <laughs> ah, that's it. He's good. Yeah, he's good. I'm Phil Swift. I'm making a boat out of a screen door. <laughs> yep. That guy in Titanic, he would have been fine if he had flex tape. 
He would have. <laughs> Phil's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay. You know, so you know, that, that that boat that exploded down going? They needed flex tape. Well, I think they were made of something. <laughs> hey, there's else. a leak in our RV. Oh. Oh, okay, Phil. Hang on. All right, Phil. <laughs> Hang on. Just calm down, Phil. Is there a recent <laughs> tragedy that Tom's trying to green comedy on him? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm sorry if you're dumb enough to do it. Here we go. You go. Okay. You get what you deserve. Lame. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. There's the, uh, the thing oh. there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, there's it's uh, that one's fairly skimpy. Bor Guys, it's Borat inspired. Yes. Yeah. Very, yeah that's very, very so. Borat. Yeah. It's crazy hot. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Really? Look at how hot <laughs> that is. You would rip that off, wouldn't you? I don't you? know. No, I'd make her keep it on. Well, well, that's yeah. it. And that's I'd the one with the flex her. tape ripped off her nipples. Well, this morning <laughs> for breakfast, I had a bean. She didn't look all that uh, no, she looks like to me. Yeah, 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 she had yeah. muscles. She yeah, look at their six pack. Uh, yeah, she's very fit. Oh boy, she does have like a Ken Dolls six pack. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh oh. Is she yeah. is she kegling a bowling pin? I don't know. Am I oh, gay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. A bowling pin. Uh, I'm not, sure, not sure what's happening. <laughs> uh, um, uh, what's coming up, Christy? Uh, coming up, we have sexy time with Allie Breen. Of yes. course. Oh, oh. Of course. <laughs> we have to talk about great food because it is. What well, Valentine's Day? Maybe you want to make a nice meal for your sweetie oh, for hope Valentine's you, hope you, Day. Hope you order your Hello Fresh. What Hello Fresh is all about is making it a great 2024. We talk about the fact that they do have, of course, calorie smart stuff, uh, uh, low carb stuff, or good old fashioned, beautiful comfort food. That's what Hello Fresh is all about. You get to pick what you want. More than 40 recipes to choose from each week. And uh, here's something you probably don't know. HelloFresh, 25% cheaper than most takeout. How does it work? They do the grocery shopping. They put the kit together. It arrives, of course, with fresh ingredients, and they've got it all measured out. You just put them together, and sometimes in just a few minutes, pop it in the oven or whatever and see what happens. What have you got, Chris? Oh, they have some really great dinners that would be beautiful for this Valentine's Day, like cherry balsamic sirloin with fingerling, fingerling potatoes and roasted Brussels sprouts. One, six easy steps, and it takes about 35 minutes, and you have this beautiful sirloin steak on the table for your man or woman. One yum, the, yum. One of the things I don't mention is this also takes that whole psychological thing away where, what do you want for dinner? I know. I don't know. I don't want to plan it. Well, you don't have to. You just go look at an order like you're at a restaurant. And it's, uh, once again, uh, cheaper than uh, getting that uh, takeout delivered to your house. And uh, have some fun. Throw together some great food from HelloFresh. They've got a great thing going now, free breakfast for life, uh, while you are uh, uh, having that active subscription. The way you find out about it, of course, is go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That will allow you that one free breakfast item uh, per box with your active prescription uh, in perpetuity, as they say. Uh, once again, BT Show Free is that code. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Some great food. Now, coming up, we're going to have some uh, great advice. Oh, yeah. Maybe with uh, Allie Breen and Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, everybody. This is Mark. Now, Greg, have you ever been in a band? Uh, I was in a band. I played one song in the high school band. Yeah? What yeah. was that? Uh, 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 it was a Spyro Gyro tune uh -huh. called Catching the Sun. It's a good uh, story right there. Is that the hey, everybody, so storm into your boss's office right now. Tell him what this company needs is a trampoline. <laughs> oh. Now, have you ever considered incorporating the drums into your act? Maybe you could uh, tell one of your uh, <laughs> stories or jokes and then do a quick rim shot? Yeah, I'll do that sometime. Sure, okay. sure. Uh -huh, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could try it with one of your... Uh, do, you, do you remember your suggestions for uh, excuses for being late to work? Uh, sorry I'm late, boss! I hate it here, so what's the rush? <laughs> That's kind of a that's kind of a long rim shot. Yeah, well, the, the rim shot was longer than the joke. I, I think. like my joke so much. I don't do a rim shot. I do a whole solo. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Any I'm, more? Dating, I'm dating this one girl. She loves Picasso and Mexican food. Talk about artsy fartsy. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. One stick down. <laughs> Find another. Uh, Greg Hahn is uh, is uh -huh. getting another. Another drum We're stick. Back. What was what was the name of what was the name of your band that did the Spyro Gyro song? Did you have a name for the band? Uh, oh well, you're gonna like this name. 
The Cardinal given Redskins. <laughs> that was a high school jazz band. <laughs> no. Oh, so it was the marching band then. Uh, no, no. Oh, the marching band. I'm glad you brought that up. Did, did you march with the drum? Did you did you carry the big drum when you marched, or did you carry the snare? What? I was in the tri-toms. I had the tri-toms. Uh-huh. With oh. the spinning head. Ooh. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you want a little marching? A little marching? You want sure. the marching vibe? No, so sure. I, can I just make a suggestion for your live show? Oh, yeah. Um, what's that? Maybe I think you'd probably be the only guy doing this. Uh, I, it, wouldn't be, it might be kind of like a prop thing, but you come out <laughs> uh, halfway through your show with those marching drums and... Or uh, maybe come onto the stage with the marching yeah. drums. <laughs> You'd be After you're introduced, hey. march on up there. With the tri Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. It's Greg Hahn. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's going wild. I can hear them. I think that's kind of a long walk to the stage. How far is it from the side of the stage yeah, that's, that's to the a, mic? It's a big I, club, Tom. I'm playing an arena, 8,000 okay. seats. Uh-huh. He's coming from the back. Mm. You're going to need some new material. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, no, I mean, it's 80,000 people. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, but we have to take a break. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, Greg Hahn and the drums, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Greg, thanks so much. I want to hear some more. Well, can, we, uh, can we come back with more? Is, is there more? Sure, I can play the drums all day. <laughs> I'll take a solo from now until we close the show. All right. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. And all night. Some like Bud, some like Schmitz, but for me, it's Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's, uh, what is it? Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. It's time for, <laughs> we're going to uh, have Allie Breen come on with Sexy Time. And mm, there she is. We're all here to yep. help someone have a fabulous uh, relationship. Where huh? are you today, Are you in an Allie? airport lounge? That's exactly where I am. I look like it's an interrogation studio. My God. <laughs> Are you wearing a... What, what, is there an insignia on your uh, chest there? <laughs> oh, it looks like shutters. Uh, it's a necklace? shutters. 
Oh, yeah. Shutters? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, oh, which side am I on? Shutters. Shutter yeah, Island? Yeah, it's a place in Santa Monica. Oh. It's a great, oh, yeah. great hotel. Oh, yeah. It's a, ah. Yeah, exactly. Right on the beach. Yep. Nice. Animal nice. Monica. There's a, a porta yeah. potty company with a very similar <laughs> <laughs> to Shutters. Yeah. yeah, very, very close. Just yeah, one yeah. vowel off. So, huh? Representing the porta potty company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be good. Like Leonardo DiCaprio is there. No, never mind. That's a, that's a Shutter Island joke. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Allie Breen joins us. Allie Breen is a, a stand up comedian and uh, a, 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 a television personality, if you will, and also happens to be. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, editor, if you will, and the hostess of uh, Sexy Time. And the way this works is um, send your letters to Allie, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, and uh, that's uh, double L double E, A double L double E. And uh, we haven't uh, actually uh, helped anyone yet. <laughs> Never. But maybe no. today. We don't maybe, give up trying. Do maybe we? today's the day. Very different. It, it's been years. <laughs> yeah. What have you got, Allie? This first one is traumatizing. I'm warning you. Oh, oh good. Okay, oh, dear Allie. The guy I'm dating is very passionate, maybe too passionate. You know when someone kisses the lids of your eyes? Well, he makes out with them. Oh. My eye sockets, my nose, my belly button. Oh, my Basically God. Basically makes everything super wet and sloppy. Leave. Oh, God. I'm trying to squirm and guide him away to no avail. I feel like telling him to stop will hurt his feelings, and I actually like him. What should I do? Je oh, oh God, man. Josh. Oh. Well, the this way is what, is what, what you should do is talk to him. No. I, <clears throat> I, I was going to suggest something similar to that. <laughs> you, yeah, let him know you don't like it, but this may be his thing. He just wants he wants yeah. and every orifice and nook and cranny he, he can put his tongue in. Uh, I'm, I'm getting oh, afraid. I, I am. I'm sick to my stomach, too. I'm uh, afraid I would punch him. Yeah. I would just, yeah. like, my natural reaction would be to punch him in the head. If he started tongue in I your nostril? Yeah. 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 You gotta let him know. Oh, you know, it's God. not for you. Oh, baby, your nose is so hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but if, I mean, if if you're not gonna let him do it, then he's gonna find someone that will. will. I say, well, hey, yeah. hey, weirdo, yeah. scram. See you later. Right. Yeah. Find oh, somebody else. Wet face, fish. Wendy over there. If he I'll has to have it, then he's gonna have to find somebody else. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And that's okay. Yeah. Are that's fine. Really Oh, God. There's people whose thing is to make out with your nose. That, that's the thing, you think? That's oh, God. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, that is really something. Hmm. Uh, uh. What's that all about? Alfie? I would call the cops. Alfie. Yeah. That's, Dick. Did you say Alfie? I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the exact same thing. I mean, right. maybe, maybe there's a one-word answer to this when it starts. No. <laughs> no, no. That's a, That would be a better one. I was thinking no. Lower. Yeah, uh, yeah. Lower. Much. Yeah. Lower. Well, it doesn't sound like she, he, she's tried that, evidently. She's tried know. squirming into different directions yeah. and put, yeah. No, he's into this. You need to. Yeah. yeah. Get That's, out. Yeah. Get maybe, out. Maybe paint a face down there. <laughs> <laughs> Targets. Do you Little guys nauseous. remember the guy who wore a giant top hat over his body and wore and drew a face on his belly. I absolutely. <laughs> yes. And so it, and his belly like it looked like it was kind of like the mouth. Yes. His belly yes. button was the mouth yeah. and he moved his belly it looked like he was talking yeah. and he had a giant eye. that's what this reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like he was whistling sometimes right, out right. of his navel. Man, that was entertaining. <laughs> okay. Well, I, this is kind of gross to say. That is grossed out. Do you have anything You nice? know, I, ideally, you'll go, you know what, uh, babe, I'm sorry, th I hate this. He'll go, you do? I, I, I thought every woman liked this. Thank God <laughs> I don't like doing it. Oh, oh no. That that's would be not an gonna ideal happen. situation. I'm just saying, yeah. ideally. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's not going to happen. Yeah. It could, it could. Maybe she should keep a towel by her, and every time after uh, he's done, just wipe uh, herself. No. Just like, oh, let her, don't <laughs> let him. A lot yeah. of fish in the sea. Yeah. Not, I said most of the fish aren't that wet. Uh, right. <laughs> Let's move on. Ugh. Dear Allie, my new boyfriend uh, took me out for a romantic Valentine's Day this past Saturday because he has a business trip from February 13th to 15th. Is this <laughs> sus? No, no, it's not. The people have it's to work working. and travel. That's they're all. out of town. They're up to something. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Those are pretty convenient dates. I don't know. My brother Jeff is on the road this week. He, he had to go down to, uh, to from uh, St. Louis to Texas. 
And that's only because he's with his other family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. yes but, but he also has work down there. You're darn yeah, right, yeah. he does. Sure, he has to work two jobs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why? Do you, do you expect him to neglect that family? I don't think so. Yeah, why is this lady so paranoid? Yeah, that's paranoid. That is paranoid. She's got trust issues yeah. big time. Somebody and by the way, her. I bet a lot of people are celebrating Valentine's Day this weekend and or last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We did exactly. last weekend. That's yeah. why I was in yeah. Florida. So was it's okay. That was I was in Florida. Florida. I had to leave it. It's because you didn't get to go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Get to go. Is that? Are you jealous? I was there oh. at the airport, staring at both of them, <laughs> going, "I got my bag. I'm not here to go to the popcorn place. I like think you had a backpack. <laughs> I'm here. To, I'm ready to go. The beanie. Andy. Uh, Andy. They got good popcorn. I had my, I had my giant Andy. lollipop ready to go. <laughs> Good, good One of those either. sticks with the bags in the back. Mickey, oh Mickey, God. Mickey. <laughs> okay, let's All move right. on. What's our next letter say? Dear Allie, my girlfriend is obsessed with me taking care of my mental health. We get along great, but she wants me to be more emotional and thinks I have child childhood trauma that I need to work through. Oh, the last yeah. thing I want to do is waste time and money on therapy every week. Oh, Can't well, I just tell her I'll listen to a self-help book or something? What should I do? Well, at least you have a good attitude about it. <laughs> at least you're now, he's working on it, though. He didn't use the word broad at any time during that. Goodness, Goodness wow. gracious. Why not give it a shot? Why not? What, but what if he's fine? What if he doesn't have anything at all then, and she's just trying to... Then the therapist will tell him, why are you here? Yes. Yes. She'll be yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. Exactly. If the yeah. therapist goes, hey, look, I think you are okay. <laughs> you just bring that nut job girlfriend of yours in here. <laughs> right. I want to get a look-see look -see at, look at her brain. Hopefully the therapist would go bring her in and we'll t and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say all this in front yeah. of her. Yeah. It's so, like when they, yeah. they hire a business consultant. A, a really good business consultant could walk in and go, your business is perfect. Right. There's nothing I can do. Check, mm -hmm. please. Uh, you know what I'm saying. But does the therapist ever do that? That ruins their business. You no, think they have to find not something. Not a good therapist. Good yeah. therapist will tell you. Yeah. They'd say, yeah. yeah. They will. Yeah, they'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had them say. Yeah, you don't have to say to the guy, you yeah. don't have any, you don't have any childhood trauma at all. The fact that you have a photograph of your mother and your inner thigh. Um, no problem. And then yeah, the yeah. pictures of your grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. For all we know, this right. guy is writing the email wearing one of his mom's dresses. Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend says. Uh, <laughs> I'm obsessed with my mom. <laughs> Petting a stuffed dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, once again, we're very helpful. Yeah. What else have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I cheated on my ex and I've been desperately trying to get her back. We finally started talking again after about six months and I'm making good progress. I ran into one of her best friends and told her that I thought we looked like we were getting back together, and she was surprised. She said that she had slept with at least 10 guys to get back at me right after the breakup, <laughs> one of them being her ex-boyfriend before me that I thought she wasn't over. Now I'm fuming, and I don't know what to do. Do I tell her? I know she'll just call me a hypocrite. Uh, if, you, well, if, they, if you were broke up and she slept with 10 guys, it's none of your business. They were on a, they break. Were on a break. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know. get over it, pal. Yeah, I think you're you're over. Yeah. You got to. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is yeah, going to be. Unfortunately, uh, you both. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's and, not. That's not. That's not. Anytime a, you guys play. Yeah. So is that a runny nose up. she's got? No, no, no. She's. Yeah. She's and full. what a friend! <laughs> what friend tells the guy that? Yeah, that's maybe she wants well, to. That's a whole yeah. other. We all know about girls. That's yeah. a whole other. We're thing. awful to each other. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, boy. Sorry to hear that you're both going through that. Yeah, sorry to hear, but Mistakes you're not getting and, back. Uh, yeah, no. no. Yeah. I just miss the days when... when you need to start looking elsewhere. When these were all signed, like in Dear Abby, with you know, the cheek. Dear Round Heels. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is... Okay, what do we got? What, you got any more, Allie? We're doing a great job. You really hit home yeah, with your good man. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. killing it. <laughs> Dear Allie, my girlfriend and I moved in together after two months of dating because we got along great, but mostly to save money. It's been great, and I'm almost debt-free. However, <laughs> she's getting along great, but in more debt than ever. It seems like no matter what she saves, it just makes her spend more. I can't deal with that if we were to get married, and I told her that, and she said, I'm being shallow if money is all that matters to me. Am I the one being crazy? Mm. Mm. I've, never, <laughs> I've never really been in a relationship where we had a lot of money arguments where you guys, does any has anybody... So is, I, is, she, is no. she paying half the rent still? 
Yeah, it looks like probably they're both splitting expenses, it seems like, to save money. But then she's just still spending like crazy after oh. saving she spend, money. Is she spending her own money? Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to ask. If it's her well, money, what difference and, does it make? Yeah. She does just come... doesn't want to acquire her debt if they do get married. Yeah. Well, keep things up. Oh. Yeah. Get out of debt and move out, pal. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's out of debt. Yeah. So well, he is. Right. Yeah. It's like a reverse of the idea when girls want to marry a guy with money and everyone says they're being shallow. She's just saying he's being shallow for worrying about having to spend his money on her, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. But, uh, so if they get married, then all of a sudden she she's going to owe MasterCard $40,000? Uh, that's the way it works, yeah. yeah. Yikes. Okay, well. <laughs> Whoa. That's a good deal. Uh, well, we're not accountants, but... Uh, Andy, sure I got some wanna... bad news for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. We got time for maybe two more. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, my best friend's husband is always making inappropriate comments to me. I finally had it, and I told her about it, and he convinced her I was lying and just trying to ruin their relationship because I was jealous. Once again. Now my best friend turned against me, and I also know she's with a dirt bag, and I can't help her. Oh. I'm so upset I'm tempted to get him to actually make a move on me so I can prove myself. Oh. What else could I possibly do? Shut up. Yeah. Well, it sounds to me like you're uh, you're free. Yeah. That uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah I get away from these people. I don't think you want her as a friend. No, no you don't. Yeah. You could just go home and watch TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so, How about that? Yeah. How's that sound? But, but, so, but so you, you yeah. want to become yeah. intimate with, you want to become intimate with her husband just to pay her back? Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's quite the solution. Prove that she yeah, was I think right. everybody, yeah. everybody in this well, thing too, is too relaxed, drama free. Is that your problem? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean it sucks that you you lost your friend, but uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, she wasn't yeah. really a friend then. If ugh. I say three way. And she'll also find out everything. he's a dirt bag. Yeah. <laughs> you could go the opposite. The yeah. three way. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. Allie, let's keep going. We got more time. Wait, that leads us to the next one. And here we go. Wait, we're okay. Dear Allie, I'm recently divorced, and one of my work friends and her husband have been really helping me get through it. They joke that I'm their adopted wifey. What are the chances I can actually get them to think about becoming a thruple? And I don't mean just a three-way. I want fully in. Part of me thinks that they're testing the waters to see if I'm into it. I'm just worried if I read it wrong that I'll ruin what we have. Any advice? Whoa. Mm. This is uh, a... When did Thruple become a thing? That's really... It's a big thing. Really yeah. caught it's actually right a thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. a TV show. Yeah. yeah, I know two Thruples. You do? What? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. So that's yes. six people? Well, they're wow. in, they're, not, they're not together. Those the thruples aren't thruppling. They are there's one thruple and another thruple. Yeah. yeah okay. Two girls and a guy, two guys and a girl. What do you got? Both are two girls and a guy. Are they okay. I've never seen two guys and a girl. Wow. No, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. When is, they is this uh, guy able to work or is he just all out of juice? <laughs> I, I'm not sure about their, juice. their okay. Do you know if life. that when they have sex, if it has to be all three at the same time? Or can they be couple up? Oh, I don't know. know. I don't know. You would think they'd have separate rooms or something. Mm. And then for Valentine's Day, oh, yeah. I, if they all I like a table for three. The same bed, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck. Well, out. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How do you? Uh, how, I don't know. The, how can you bring that up and then? Well, you're I was really just, drunk first. I was yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe yeah, actually. Do, maybe do what Jess just did. Just go. Uh, say to them, hey, I have this, these friends that are a thruple and see kind of how they respond. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. If, yeah if present it say, as another situation. Yeah. Casually. Yeah. 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 They say, that sounds interesting. Maybe mm. talk to her first and not both of them at the same time. If she warms up to the idea... She's going to be the one yeah, that, that has to... The guy's going to definitely follow the lead. Yeah. yeah. And if she's against it, she oh, won't yeah. even tell the guy. So right. just that's because he's a... Uh, Guy. He's a guy. No, um, yeah. no I, I don't think that works, Josh. You don't think so? And then she might get insanely jealous and not want her around anymore. No, no. Uh, maybe, But maybe try to sell her as like, I really want to be with you. Yeah. And, and we can incorporate your husband as well if you want. And that's going to get right. her. That, or we can no. get rid of him altogether. That's yeah. going to get her in throuble. Kill him and charge the insurance policy. Throuble. 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 That, 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 should be the, that should be the Hallmark movie. Yeah. Yeah. Throuble. Throuble in paradise. Uh, Okay. That's coming. That will be. <laughs> but I mean, there was that. Well, this is a reference no one will get. Remember that uh, great, uh, what is it, Jefferson Airplane song? <laughs> why, why can't we go on as three? Triad? Anyone? Ooh, no. Triad. No. Sorry. Uh, let's, uh, let's get back to Allie. We got time for one more, Allie. What do you got? Dear Allie, my husband has been pushing for me to go to the gym and get in better shape. 
I've been going for about three months, and they offered me some training sessions with the hottest man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I have no chance with him, as he's 15 years younger, but he's just such a better full package than my husband has ever been. Spending no. time with me makes me see how awful spending time with my husband is. Wow. Is this just a passing thing, or is it reason to leave and try to find something better? By the way, I'm 52. Is that too old to start anew when there's theoretically nothing wrong with my marriage? Oh, Sounds no. like there's something wrong with well, this. This is too, <laughs> too serious for us. Wow. You don't like him, I don't no, think. No, no, no. Yeah. But uh, 52 is too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it's all you're, you're all right. done. Down Every answer there. we can give is moot. Yeah. And, yeah. and to see and if this guy's in, to see if this guy's interested, you can use weightlifting terms when you're at the gym. So, uh, Lloyd, how do you feel about snatch? Oh, there it is. Okay. You know. Sure. That's a weightlifting term. Yeah, I know. Yeah. (laughs) Why don't you jerk while I... Oh! (laughs) You show me... You show me your jerk while I show you my snatch. <laughs> there's the clean and jerk and there's yes, snatch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, not happy worth. Valentine's Day, yeah, Allie. No I hope you're going to see your beau. Yeah, we're doing nothing. We're staying and watching Fargo. So well, that sounds nice. Be fun. Oh, it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's supposed to be a storm here. It hasn't happened yet, but... Where are uh, you? Well, if there's not a Valentine's I'm Day that uh, that up. says screams... Val- it's Fargo's got to be <laughs> there. <laughs> the new he has his he wife kidnapped to collect the money. Yeah. Is it snowing in New York City? Is that where you're headed, or...? No, I just got back. I was in L.A. I oh. just took the red eye back, so I'm in New York now. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's supposed to be a storm, but it looks fine outside. Hmm. Okay, well, it's best amazing. of luck, Allie. Yeah, see Allie. Yeah, Thanks as usual. Yeah, happy to you guys, too. Always appreciate it. You look that great, and you flew all night? Man, that's amazing. Good for you, <laughs> I sleep on planes. I sleep better on planes than I do in my bed. It's mm-hmm. ridiculous. Really? That's Same. half the battle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. All right, Red Eye. We'll see you. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Have a good day. Bye, Allie. Bye. Is that the only color eye you want to mention? Here we go. Uh, no. Why did you do that? Until later. Um, now, um, uh, uh, coming up, a little bit of history for you. But first, the uh, Sleep Number people have perfected their bed, of course, the Sleep Number Smart Bed. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's a it's an idea that they have, like I say, they've perfected adjustable firmness. Each side of the bed has its own setting, and the setting can be changed at the touch of a button. So if uh, he over there likes a very firm mattress and you desire one that's less firm, you're okay. And uh, if you both want it firm, just press the button. It's that easy. Christy Lee has a new situation. They're um, in transit. It should be delivered any time now. You're getting a new Sleep Number smart bed, and yes. uh, you said Andy likes the firm mattress? Yeah, he like, his setting is 100. And yours is? That's why Chick wanted to come with us to Florida because oh. we all have the same. Th- Ready <laughs> There's, to go. There's our throuple, guys. Yes. There. there it is. Sleep number. Whee! Uh, adjustable firmness on either side of the bed. And uh, by the way, you can be smart with a sleep number smart bed because if you act now, it's sleep number's President's Day sale. You can save 50% on the famous Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. And by the way, for a limited time, special financing is available. And by the way, why don't you just, uh, you just instead of listening to me, how about listening to J.D. Power and Associates and their famous rankings? Well, they rank Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. That great rating can be viewed by going to jdpower.com slash awards. You'll find the Sleep Number bed, of course, only at Sleep Number stores. To find one, go to sleepnumber.com com slash bt show the sleep number smart bed you need a lot of sleep of course you do you want to have quality sleep that's where a great bed comes in handy it's like having 40 beds in one it should be called the everybody's happy bed Mm -hmm. the sleep number smart bed i know i love mine coming up Da, 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 da. history this is the bob and tom show hey thanks for listening to the bob and tom show this morning We have uh, the young Shane Moss, a uh, comedian from uh, Wisconsin, yeah. now living in Boston. Yeah, I got the uh, ghost of Christmas future. Uh, there you go. Right next to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah, too late, is it? I can still, I can still change. You can. No. <laughs> Turns out it is too late. Oh, yes, uh, you, know, you mentioned that your uh, girlfriend is a veterinarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, did you have any normal jobs uh, prior to this comedy? Thing? Um, yeah, I had. Uh, I, I did a lot of manual labor type stuff. I, I worked in a factory for a few years. Worked construction. The worst thing that I ever did was um, I, I was a temp laborer. Yeah. Um, which was just an awful 
awful job and there's like no health insurance no or, or anything with it there's just workman's compensation so anytime i need to seek medical attention I need to be a work-related thing you know i'd have to call right. up my boss and be like yeah i don't know i better go and see a doctor it's just yesterday i think i was just picking up a little bit too much weight and I think I might have gotten herpes. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. yeah, I better have that checked. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's insane all the things you have to worry about. These, it, it, like, I remember when I was in grade school, and, you know, I'm, I'm not that old, but it just it, 20 years ago in, in grade school, the biggest concern was don't share hats, you might get lice. Oh. Yeah. They're much more serious now. They're like, mm. don't share needles. You might get AIDS. <laughs> yeah. Well, at Come least on. you can share hats again. There's a lice. Yeah. Yeah, how true. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, Shane Moss is, is our guest. We've talked about the fact that you drive all over the place. Yeah. But let me ask you this. We've. Uh, this is one of my favorite topics. Uh, uh, it's kind of an inside showbiz thing, but uh, every once in a while you get what's termed a hell gig. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you're on stage and uh, you're in a small club or a bar and they've got a TV on over here. There's a pool game going on. People aren't paying attention. Do you have any great hell gig stories? Um, well, uh, I, I have a few. And um, uh, Let's hear I'll, I'll tell one anyway. And then if we have time for more, that's uh, cool. Um, uh, I'll start. I'll combine uh, cars and a hell gig. How's that? Uh -huh. um, I, uh, I was in Detroit. Uh, recently, and, and this actually wasn't a hell gig at all. It's just kind of my fault. I made a little mistake. Detroit's kind of a li little bit dangerous. It's actually ranked the most dangerous big city mm -hmm. in the country. And if you remind them of that, they will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> or try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I let it slip on stage that I drive a Hyundai. Oh, uh, which is a sin uh -huh. there. And I yeah. had to explain to him, I was like, listen, you know, I'm all for supporting American made products. I don't want anyone in Detroit to lose their job or anything. It's just that if I'm driving through Detroit, I want the most reliable vehicle possible. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, wow. That uh, didn't go over very well. Uh, <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. And now, from the Amish Brewing Company, Buttermilk Ice Light. <laughs> Ringer! Nice toss, Graber. Thank you, my friends. Women of the Old Testament. Hmm. Okay. Ruth or Mary Magdalene? <laughs> mm, Ruth. Okay, how about this? Ruth or Eve? E <laughs> Buttermilk Ice Light from the Amish Brewing Company. The hand-churned buttermilk is frozen, the curds removed, put in the back of a buggy and driven around town until thawed, then returned to the farm and slowly filtered through a hand-sewn patchwork quilt, <laughs> then refrozen to create the unique taste of buttermilk ice light. Okay, plain black floor-length dress or red lacy see-through teddy. Mm. Plain black floor link dress. <laughs> when you say buttermilk, you've said it all. Ninety-nine glasses of buttermilk on the wall. Hold, Nine. hold it, Fritz. Uh. Fritz, move over. Let me drive the buggy. Ah, it's okay, Graber. I took his reins away when he wasn't looking. <laughs> You're a good friend, Yoder. <laughs> the Amish Brewing Company would like to remind you, if thou hast had too much to drink, thou shalt not drive. <laughs> Amish Brewing Company, Napanee, Indiana. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah, no! This is Bob and Tom Radio. A list of things you're never going to hear at a party. Hey, when you're done throwing up, can you drive me home? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that at a party. <laughs> hey, who knows how to play some folk guitar? <laughs>
goodbye, but I think we've all had enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, I hate to waste time, so who here besides me has herpes? <laughs> oh, Same goes in, you can match up. Uh, yeah. yeah. The neighbors are on the phone. They want to hear some Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear the coked up guy talking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hit on her, but she's so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, put down the gun or no more Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah, you never hear that one. Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. I well, get up a shopping it. list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors on the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> 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 Sleeping on those posturepedic sealer meal, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lived till you're making love, and your wife says, "Go slow. I'm spilling my chili." <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Paul, and this is Storm, and we're Paul and Storm. Cool. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. You know what time it is, don't you? No. Because we don't look back. We <laughs> can't <laughs> remember the past. We can't future the doom to the, the present. Re report the today <laughs> in history. Valentine's Day 2024. Now, Tom. St. Valentine met kind of a weird end. Are you aware of this? Yeah, no. Was, what uh, happened? Was he, he, was, uh, he was shot by Cupid, wasn't he? In a garage in Chicago, right? No. <laughs> That's the way I oh, understand. Yeah. None, none of you really know this? No. Um, he was beheaded. What for? He was beheaded. I <laughs> Must have been, must have been some more. Yeah, 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 you don't. Wow. Yeah, you just don't walk around and go, whoops, we yeah. beheaded him. I mean, so it doesn't really make sense to give somebody a heart on Valentine's Day. It should be give head, not heart. Oh, I God. think that does happen every now and then. Well, to, to well, certain sure, once a year, lucky yes. That <laughs> and your birthday. We all yeah. walked right, into that. No, seriously, no, but I mean, yeah. I, it's true. St. Val Valentine was beheaded. Okay, all right. but we don't know what for. Um, Someone just didn't like him. <laughs> Um, I'm why sorry, would you, why not just say it doesn't say? Can you imagine what would have happened to me had I said, well, Valentine's it's Day It's my fault. I, I asked the question I didn't know the answer to. Uh, Valentine so. was arrested and dragged before the prefect of Rome who condemned him to be beaten to death with clubs mm. and to have his head cut off. All right. It's beautiful. Now, well, I don't know who the prefect of Rome is, but he's kind of a bad <laughs> The tough cookie. Yeah. The sentence was carried oh, out on February 14th, honor about the year 270. Wow. Now, did, they, did they beat him and then lop the head off? Or? Sure, yeah, you want yeah, him to feel that. Oh, yeah, you don't want to beat him after his head's uh, off. Yeah, right. Okay. What's the point? Maybe okay. he was some kind of Romeo, sleeping with all the women. So Maybe he was the foremost either. adulterer. You don't know. A, I don't think he'd be a saint if he were a Lothario. Oh, you don't know that. What happened was... Saint's not a nickname. The background is um, uh, Claudius the Cruel. And by the way, you don't get a nickname like that unless you're mm -hmm. badass. Yeah, you he um, was trying to get an army together and the men were all enamored with their wives and didn't want to go and join the army and he thought that uh huh? valentine was the one encouraging him to stay home and you know be in love no oh, no kidding that's oh. why they lopped his head off so yeah it's true all right interesting story yeah that's what that's Valen that's <laughs> okay move on oj tried to celebrate it that way oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah nice pretty successful uh, okay this is a little bit less bloody um, 1912, Arizona becomes the 48th state in the Union. I'll never recognize it. No. <laughs> thus, <laughs> thus, of course, evening out the flag. Not my president. Oh, yeah. Keeping it nice. Oh, my God. Party. And uh, kind of, I've always thought Arizona kind of, hey, New Mexico did it. Okay. So if New Mexico jumps off a bridge, you're going to jump off a bridge, too? Is that what we're doing here? I love Arizona. Stop. It's a wonderful state. And it rhymes with Bonia. Come on. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, it does. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. The St. Valentine's Day massacre took place, of course. Mm. This in is Chicago. The, the, yeah, the, the 19, 19, 19, go ahead. 46. Yeah, 29. <laughs> so close. Um, they dressed up as police, right? Uh, did they? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, they did. And then, uh, um, let's see. Here's one. Yeah, yeah. What cops? Yeah. This one, this one has a, uh, a question with it. 1931, the movie Dracula, another version of it, was released. This one's starring Bela Lugosi. Sure. But some say Bella. 
But I think Bela, like Bela Fleck, the great. Just musician. get on. No one cares about that. On. Mm. Nobody wants to hear about your What's Jefferson your Airplane memories. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Bela, the original Jefferson Dracula, the original Batman, if you uh -huh. ask me. Uh, Bat you mean Dracula? Yeah. You said Batman. I know. No, but he's the original Batman. Because he, he could turn into turn a bat. Into a bat. You see, oh, ever see that Batman went right do that? past me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> was there a question? How about this one? I thought there was a question. I thought there was a yeah. question. Is it Bela or Bella? Uh, oh. oh, that was the question. So there, no, there was no question. No. Okay. There was no question. Uh, What's the answer? Bela, according it's to you. Indifferent. Oh, that's right. I'm just curious. <laughs> and you're always right. Original, original Batman. All right. Um, <laughs> you've, you've been canceled. Uh, <laughs> 1967, Aretha Franklin records Respect. Mm. She didn't want to do it uh, that Which way. apparently she offered to no one. Yeah. She was a, a, a she, monster of a person. She and didn't want to do it that way, counts. and she uh, yeah. had to be talked into it. It's one of the great spelling songs. Sure. Time really now is. for yeah. Things We Learned Today, brought to you by it. Popeyes. What's another spelling song? No, I'm just saying she didn't she write right Respect. Right. Bingo's the only one. Bingo and Respect. <laughs> B-I-N-G-O-R-E-S-P-E-C-T. There, there That's it. I bet there are more. Popeyes. Shush. This past Sunday, Popeyes fans watched the perfect pairing of Popeyes commercial during the big game and their new lineup of crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Mm. Wangs. I'm going to eat them up. Order any of their five delicious flavors today from Popeyes. It's a great commercial, Ken Jong. It was a great Super Bowl commercial. Google that. Watch it. It's really funny. He's frozen. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I felt like I was just watching it. <laughs> Happy Ash Wednesday. Tom doesn't refer to it as Valentine's Day. He refers to it as an obligation. Yeah. Isn't that romantic? Tom is staying hydrated. Tea, soda, water, coffee. Got them all cool. <laughs> yep. Christy has mass at noon today and uh, ashes and fasting and chocolate. She's lying. She's not going to mass. She's no. going to do it herself. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do it myself. Rub around on her. Grab the <laughs> it's down the bottom. Of the, yeah, barbecue <laughs> pin. Yeah. Oh, the Thanks. fireplace. You know, you, know, you, know, you know someone's done that. They've been set at a yeah. cheap bar all day. Uh, hey, no, Mom, I went. See, look. Uh, yeah. Take a briquette. <laughs> That's a, a camel cigarette ash. What yeah. You, Christy was going to make a heart-shaped meatloaf for... Uh, yeah, but can have meat today. Andy, mm -mm. But, but can't. Really, I remember going to be so hungry. I could do a turkey loaf, I guess. We talked to uh, Cornwall. Oh, nice and dry. <laughs> oh, boy, isn't this <laughs> And the turkey delicious. Tom enjoys maple syrup like like we all did when we went to those restaurants. Uh, <laughs> where all those, the maple trees were when we all were younger. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were yes. there in the sand. In front oh, yeah. of us. The Tapman would go yeah. out. <laughs> oh, Tapman. Tapman. <laughs> you, you'd White hear. Jackets. Yeah. Bees Tapman. all over it. Yeah. Chester, Chester. <laughs> Covered in ants. Tap the tree, yeah. please. <laughs> Timmy the Tapman. Timmy! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Maple syrup. syrup. I learned you guys all about I Swedish pancakes. Don't know yeah. Thinner, more delightful. I'll be here tomorrow, never try. but I love you all. Uh, okay, well, thank you very night. much. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.